Hello. Welcome, friends. <laughs> I've got lemon tea. It's a lemon loaf tea. Yeah, so I'm just going to do what I've been doing all day, and I'm going to beat on this thing that I should probably have abandoned hours ago, but I am making of spite. Spite beadwork, I usually end up hating, but it usually ends up selling, so we'll see what happens. I don't know. This piece um, started because, uh, let's see, how did this piece come about? This piece came about because I have this book. It's uh, Introducing Albion Stitch by Melanie de Miguel. Yeah, library stuff on the front, huh? Um, there you go. Introducing Albion Stitch. <laughs> and I wanted to use one of the techniques in this book. Um, most of these things are not my style. And so, like, I wanted to learn how this stitch works. But I wanted to bezel around this because it's been in my to-do pile for freaking ever. Hello, BK and Prince. How you doing? How you doing? I'm explaining why I'm making this thing. I wanted to learn Albion Stitch. Book, Albion Stitch. Book, Heather Kingsley Heath. Um, but it's, you know, a technique that's kind of lacy as far as beadwork goes. Like, I'd, I'd make that one. That one would be okay. Um, but bead of beads aren't my thing, you know? Like, a lot of this isn't my thing. I was kind of, I don't know what I was hoping for. I'd, I'd make that is not purple and I don't even have the right size pyramid beads so Ugh. Oreos Ooh. I just had strawberry wafers um yeah so I started trying to bezel it using this bezeling technique and it was eh. and then I tried it using there's another not quite a bezel there weren't many bezels in here which is odd uh, I tried it using this, you, trying to adapt this to a bezel, and that almost kind of worked, um, and that gave me my first result, which was up here. Let's go back to the beading UFOs. I've been posting in it since I've been trying, so since like yesterday or the day before, I don't remember. I've had Reginald dinner one night. Oh, uh, this I did this twice actually. So this, this I did twice. Which turned out kind of nice. I actually kind of liked how this happened here along the front. Uh, I was using the little Albion spokes and then I tied them into the opposite end of the peyote stitch. That was kind of cool. So I learned a thing. that yeah, this. Crossing over the peyote. It was cool. That didn't work very well. And then, and then I tried this morning just kind of what I've got going on here. Um, I tried the center bit of this. Try the center bit of this right here. You know, and that's what this other one is, is that, but I was going along the way and I goofed up my math again. And so I did it again. And this is, this is the attempt that I have in progress now. So I have this center bit from that bracelet as a bezel and then I'm working peyote off of that to capture the thing so the problem I'm encountering is that it's too wide <laughs> so good to beads but it's so you have a craft and cookies day and share nah I don't have any cookies I'm sorry well I have just the ones that are left but that'll be for my next cup of tea what, tomorrow or something? So I've got this. So the light's going to be weird because the sun is setting, but it's not dark enough to glow yet. It's a weird time of day, and I don't know that'll be energetic <laughs> enough or want to start a glow piece tonight. So I'm just working on this. Um, zoom in here. And so what we have is we have that center piece of that bracelet as the side of the bezel, and then I did my regular peyote stitch decrease. Um, and... <laughs> eh. 
<laughs> if I had this all the way up, it made the little leaf go bloop. And so I pushed it down a little and the leaf kind of fell in. And so I'm like, what if I just make another bezel on the inside of there and make it like a dual layer kind of bezel situation? Like, wouldn't that be cool? I've never done that before. So I stitched in the ditch. I stitched in the ditch all the way around on the inside there, which is hard. Dusk. Yes, dusk. Thank you. It's, there's a word for that. Um, look, a window box. You kind of, yeah, it'll, it'll give it a window box effect. So I'm going to make another bezel like this off of that row inside there, which will still give me a little bit of space on the back here to cinch this in, do something. Like I had these set here just to match the leaf on the front. And I was thinking maybe cut a piece of orange formica out and make negative spaces and glue these in. And it, this is just a, it's going to figure itself out kind of project. <laughs> Honestly, what I need to do on the back of this is what I did on the back of the other one. Um, the purple one. Actually, I have two old pieces that are similar. One is almost the same. And the other, yeah. <laughs> so let me get those out. I haven't even touched them yet today. Yeah, so the back is still a little undetermined. Um, if I had kept the depth and I hadn't done this extra row in there, this would have been like so deep. And I was thinking about like doing some negative space, like piercing work on the back or something. Like, you know, X goes over here, I'll put a chain on it. And I'm like, yeah, but I wanna play. But he's right, I need to like wrap it up here soon. <laughs> right, so the first one of these I did, uh, these are drawn by Ixo, by the way. Like, he, he did this as part of a doodle on a piece of mat board. Um, forever ago. Come on. There we go. Doodle. Little tiny flower tulip thing. There was more to it. Um, I don't know where these went off to. Like, I swear I kept them. The bits that I didn't cut out. And then this was another one. And this one's been a necklace for a long time. Long, long time. So the hole is covered up by the button here and there's some little leaves off to the side. Like I went overboard on this one too. So like these just tend to be overboard projects. And then the back is all bezeled, all sorts of neat. <laughs> that one didn't have words on it. So I just used the, the mat board as the backing. And then like there's the necklace. This one hangs on a display really dumb though. <laughs> it really does. So yeah, there's that. Oh no, just aiming for a second one of those, but like doing a little different. Uh, Elf now, is my keyboard working? Yay, hello, hello. How are you doing tonight? Yay for Elf, yeah, keyboard's working. And then I have this other one, which I started on stream a while back. I did a bunch of it on stream one day. And then, like, that was also one of the first times I, I had redeem a whip happen during a project, so I didn't finish it on stream. Uh, here's the netting on the back, which I think is probably what I should be doing on the back of this one, just to make life easy on myself. But life is never easy on myself. I know this. I know this. <laughs> I should probably just do that and forget about anything else. Um. And maybe just do the leaves like in the strap of the necklace or something. I don't know. Uh, adulting. I remember you working on this. Make it easy for yourself? Never. If I'd made it easy for myself, I would have just like cut it up and left it cut up. Like I fed Reginald like four or five times during this piece so far. So like, <laughs> no, it's not, it's not easy on myself. I'm actually doing very hard on myself bit right now. Okay. I don't know. I don't 
know where I need to put all this stuff. I've been just beating for myself. I wasn't beating for stream earlier, so my desk is like the way it would be. Just myself beating. Beating for me. So like I have to like get in here and then like it's all sorts of um, weird angles. <laughs> I'm beating inside of something I've already finished. Typically, you would beat on top of something you've already finished, but no. No, I had this idea at the wrong time. <laughs> Here, let's go closer in. There we go. But yeah, so, yeah. I'm at least streaming tonight. I don't have anything glow stream ready. Like, I suppose I could try to, like, start the glow heart cuff. That might be okay. I could work on that. And then I could work on the other loom commission I need. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, this, this has been occupying my time today. I want to get at least the pendant finished. Well, if I finish the pendant, I might as well just finish the whole thing. So I just want to work on this today. <laughs> X-File, hello, welcome. On my way to work, but wanted to pop in and say hi. Have a good shift at work. It's good to see you just for a little bit. Welcome, welcome. I hope I hope your evening goes smoothly. Your work shift goes smooth. Can't imagine going into work at this time of night. Like I've never had an overnight job. Mm -mm. Or a graveyard shift. I've never had a graveyard shift. Like I could probably like actually be awake for it, but like. The weirdness of the schedule would get to me. Thanks. <laughs> yes. May it go smoothly and then nobody, nobody gets in your way or prevents you from doing your job. <laughs> I don't remember what your job is though, so like. Let's hope it goes well. So you guys might not be able to see a lot of what's going on. Heck, I can't even see a lot of what's going on. But this is the piece I'm making, so it's the piece I'm going to stream. Come on. Erp. <laughs> it goes Reginald. Yeah. Yeah, he's been uh, eating a lot of my attempts at this. As you can see, my art jar has so much orange thread. So much. <laughs> so much. Also, I have a new jar. Guys, I already filled up a jar this year. It was a small one, but still, it was, it was a whole dang art jar, all filled up. I filled it up by Valentine's. I had started it, like, I, I kid you not, like, at the beginning of the year. up there somewhere <laughs> out of reach i mean i'd help if you didn't throw away spools of thread because you hate them <laughs> would you like me to send them to you elf i think you would be cursing my name if if i did like just just saying you know i can i can try to fish them out of there and mail them to you i have your address <laughs> or did from your last invoice. I know where you live. Don't, don't wish that on yourself, please. The floaty is still available. <laughs> Wee! The floaty of crazy projects? Yes. But my art jar contains a handful of diamond drills and a couple pieces of, y of yarn right now. And no, do not send them to me. Exactly. I wouldn't wish that on anybody no thank you so we we're gonna have some curving problems down here mm. look 
tight curves. Gotta take those stitches out again. Okay. Eh, eh, eh. Can't get in there. <laughs> ah! Supper time! Enjoy your dinner! I just ate mine. Uh, it's so made pork roast and mashed potatoes today. It's delicious. It was done way earlier, but I got like absorbed in this project. Like this project has been, okay, let me try this thing out to, oh, that didn't work to, oh, let's try out something else. Oh, that didn't work. Oh, now I'm finishing out of spite. That's been my, that's been my uh, process the last couple days here. And that's also what I get for jumping in on the deep end on a new stitch, so. Let's see that. Beeb could probably use, I could just skip it, skip a stitch there. It looks like it's close enough to the other one that it doesn't actually matter. I was trying to keep the same pattern as I had on the outer row but I guess that's a not happening now. Do two brown? So this is kind of design on the fly, this whole piece. So can't promise what you'll get. Ooh, BK had tacos, tacos. Eh, okay. Whoa, that could have spilled. You're just gonna watch me fumble. That's all this stream is gonna be. Fumble the piece. Nope. Why did I do this to myself? <laughs> what is wrong with me? Maybe brown? Do a couple blues. Try to find the center point. I don't know where the center point is. It's probably in the middle here. something like this you want it to stay symmetrical because there's no like the shape isn't warping at any point so yeah man ha ha Yee. okay so that's probably the center stitch but I'll have to double check here in a sec Hello, Fat Bottom Girl. Welcome. Hello, hello. How are you doing today? I think you were here last glow stream, if I remember remember correctly. It's not a glow stream tonight, though, because uh, it's dusk, and I'm determined to get this guy done. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Three, four. Blue, blue, brown. Blue, blue, brown. Blue, blue, brown. Blue, blue, brown. Skip. Brown, brown. Skip. Okay, no, that is exactly the center point. Okay. Amal, tuning in while I enjoy dinner. How are you, my dear? I am doing well. I have been working on, here, let me turn it around for you to actually see the piece. <laughs> Get some of the beads out of the way. Um, I've got a little teardrop shaped doodle 
that Ixo drew years ago. Like, he drew this before we ever met, so I um, held on to it for a long time, and I salvaged the bits of the doodle that I liked. thought I kept more of it, but, like, I don't know where the rest went. This goes right in here, just like that. And so... Gonna, it sits back a little bit and I'm making a secondary bezel where the dots are to come out from underneath the front bezel on the back side I don't know I'm playing around it's some experimental beadwork I'm probably just gonna do some simple netting on the back to just zip it up like just easy <laughs> not bother myself with more peyote peyote was nice on the front but you know don't need to go extra crazy on the back it'll still be reversible though whatever i do yeah Ooh, very nice thanks it's very complicated this is my fourth attempt at bezeling this my first three i ripped them up um, my first two were a different approach entirely and then my sec my third one was this but um it wasn't quite stable, so I had to do it again. Ah, don't want on me. Thread is being rambunctious today. I love experimental stuff. It's so fun to watch artists explore their talents. Thanks. Even when it doesn't work out, watching the process is so interesting. Oh, yeah, no, especially when it doesn't work out. Then you're like, wait, there's a better way to do this. I can figure it out. And so that's what I'm in. I'm in the uh, finishing a project out of spite and because I know that there's a way to do it <laughs> phase. The first attempt was really gorgeous, actually, if you want to see it. I have them all. I've been posting them in my Discord. So if you're not in my Discord, one, you can join and follow along when I do weird stuff like this and two you can just watch it you can see it right here so here's me this is my first attempt same piece a uh, bit different of a bezel which i really liked but the math was not working out i had 24 super duos around the first time the second time i had 21 i probably should have done 23 and it would have been fine um but i didn't want to do that a third time i don't know why it probably would have been the best option <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> and so I ripped both of those apart. I only photographed the one. And then early this morning, that's what this one looked like. Uh, but I was doing the bezel cage as I went. I made it, it was very, very loose. It didn't have the right tension. Um, and then I just started over. I did the full bead count and then started the bezel cage, which worked fine. And then I ended up <laughs> with this. That's maybe. I don't know. We'll see. But yeah. So that's been my day. And part of last night, I guess. Was it last night? I don't know. Time is... Time and it's an illusion. I don't know any, anything anymore. Okay. And I have my full bead palette here. I'm zoomed in very far, so, um, yeah. <laughs> and these colors are on opposite sides of the bead palette because I'm smart like that. <laughs> I usually remember to put them closer together, but... So one brown skip a bead no bead in this stitch you need to like decrease sometimes and decreasing in bead work is either one of two things it's uh adding fewer beads per stitch or adding no beads per stitch you know depending on what you're doing this one's uh, adding no beads per stitch and then i need two brown in each of the next two stitches is a very 
interesting way to do things. I've never done this before, because what I've done is I did the full, the bezel, and then realized that I was either gonna have too much space up here, or if I push this to the back, too much space this way. So there was space to add another bezel inside. So I'm like, hmm, let's try that. And so I stitched in the ditch all the way around for that first row of blue. And now I am building on top of that. I think this is no bead here. Be right back, says Prince. All right, we'll bead right here, my friend. Okay. Brown. I'll turn that down. Eggs, pencil rock, but you're too loud for me. And it should just be two blue and brown all the way up to the top. Maybe. We'll see. If there's any point where you guys can't see, I'm sorry. It's uh, not easy for me either. I think I've already said that, but you know, just in case. This isn't my typical stream project where I like, um, am showing easier things. I'm usually doing easier things in general, but you know, today felt like an experimental make something crazy because you can kind of day. I'm using two different size beads here because I'm decreasing as I go. So typically in like a peyote stitch bezel, you want to start off with, well, you can do a bunch of things, but uh, what I typically do is I usually start off, there, easiest to show this way, start off with a row or two of eight, 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 size 11 beads. And then you switch to a row of delicas. And then you can switch to a row of Delicas and 11s, and then a row of 11s a couple times maybe. Not 11s, 15s. Delicas and 15s. Um, <laughs> these are actually smaller than 15s. The blues, these are like size 18 or 20 or something ridiculous. It was hard. I, I can only get go through the beads once, and they are tiny babies. Look at these tiny, tiny babies. Tiny babies, uh, 15s for comparison. Here you go. 15, tinier, like 20s, something ridiculous. Pat Bottom Girl, I've been working on eggplant emoji earrings for my daughter. I made one 3D type eggplant and have drawn out another to bead embroidery eggplant on Pelon to see which she likes best. Ooh, -hoo. they're tiny AF. Yeah, no, no kidding, they are small like these are small and then I have here yeah these as well that are itty bitty and then I have these <laughs> my glutton for punishment nope not that one yeah these are all my these are my smallest beads I own these three colors um in that order too the pink and then the brown and then the blue these are the smallest beads I have um, so these are like 18s here's 15s for comparison so 15s and we have 18s for sure and these are 20 or 22 I don't remember it's like you can't even really get beads this small anymore they are definitely vintage very vintage 
these beads are older than I am for sure. So like, yeah, <laughs> it, I got the brown ones at a bead store in Nashville. So this was my first ever bead store, uh, but I got them back in 2019 when I went back to visit. Um, and the blue ones, I got that same trip, but I don't know if it was that store or the other one. I want to say the same store. And these I got off of Shipwreck, but the holes are so small on all of them. On all of them, the holes are small. I can't use, I don't really have needles I can use. Um, I did use the 11 for the blues, but I broke a lot of blues trying to get any that fit on the needle. And I can't pass through them twice, regardless. That's the problem with them, is you can't pass through them twice. Even if you can pass through them once, that's all you got. That is all you got. Okay. So I definitely made sure that was my final row of beadwork on this, on this bezel. Because it is not reinforced. I couldn't do it even if I wanted to. And I want to, because I'd like to reinforce my bezels, but... There's plenty of other beadwork in this piece that I think it was going to be fine. Like plenty of other rows and such. Like it, that was more of a decorative row than it was a structural row anyway. So it's fine. It's fine. Symmetrical yet? One, two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five. Looks like okay. one more blue bead, and then I gotta figure out how I want this top to look. Because I started like part way down the side on this other side. Okay. Blue, brown, blue, blue. small thanks for the tips on using them um I would say if you're going to use beads this small I would recommend only doing them in bead embroidery and only if you're gonna use two needle bead embroidery and this is your one needle this is your stringing needle so like a size if you can find them like size 12 size 13 14 15 needles whatever you have that's smaller than size 11, string them, and then with your other needle, go down and couch them. That is the only way you're gonna be able to utilize the holes at all. Otherwise, it's like Mosaic Town. <laughs> it's probably what I'm gonna do with the pink. I'm gonna do some sort of mosaic or cast them in resin as just like a confetti kind of thing. I don't know. Because the holes on those are really small. But like the holes on all of them are really small. I was just mad at them one day. Because <laughs> I really wanted them for the piece I was using. I was also streaming with them. And I didn't realize. Or I had forgotten. About the teeny teeny tiny holes. And I was just grumpy. <laughs> Local bead shop carry those super tiny beads. Or is that something that I'm more likely to find in an online shop? Um, Both. I would say um, if it's a local bead shop that has been around say for a long time like for a couple decades then you're likely to find vintage hanks of beads um, otherwise I would actually go to shipwreck beads for for beads that small let's see if they have any actually um, because I know shipwreck sources vintage vintage beads that's that's my go-to for like unusual types of beads but also I hate their website now so like I actually haven't bought anything from them since since they had their pandemic sales and stuff everything is 30 to 50 percent off until March 23rd which is pretty cool pretty cool uh, bu -bu 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 beads 
Yes, I've definitely used two. I definitely used two needles with those. Yeah, could imagine trying to run a thread through them more than once. You can't. You can't. You, it's the needle. The thread can fit through twice, but the needle cannot. All right, we need vintage seed beads. Vintage Rokal. Rokai's Sari. Can we go by size? Can we go by size? Excuse me while I grumble. Seriously? Oh. Boo on you, shipwreck. You're no fun. Anyway, shipwreck's okay. Um, here's their Charlotte's though. Um, I haven't bought from them recently, like I said. I really like their old website. The new website is kind of blah. But um, they do have good beads. Like, all sorts. Um, these are Charlotte's and True Cuts, um, which the True Cuts are typically size 13. Charlotte's can be a variety of sizes. <laughs> but as far as like vintage beads, this is where I go, is I go to, I go to Shipwreck. And then these are, like the True Cuts are gonna be the ones that have a facet on the side, or a couple of facets, which are great for embroidery if you want like the sparkle. I'm getting cut, I'm getting stuck looking at beads. Guys, help. No, I'm not allowed. <laughs> No. No shopping for beads while on stream. I have shopped for beads enough lately. Good. Good. Welcome back, Elf. I saw you came back. What was for dinner? What'd you have? Oh no. I had pork roast and mashed potatoes what Ixo made today. It was delicious. Thanks for the resource. Of course, yes. Um, yeah, like I said, the website is not good anymore. Um, that's my personal opinion. Uh, their search parser it sucks. But if you have patience and if you know what you're looking for and you're willing to dig through the site, you can find it. <laughs> um, we... Uh, there's a viewer that, that lives where Shipwreck is located, which she says shopping in, in, in the building is like heaven, and I absolutely believe her. Haven't uh, seen her in a while, but yeah. Um, <laughs> I want to live near Shipwreck. That'd be great. I am in the wrong part of the country for that, though, so. Oh, well. Can I, can I please, can I get in this bead? Am I just gonna have to like stab the beadwork? Come out the other end some other way? Here, go up through here, ha ha! You think you can best me? Not happening. Costco chicken alfredo. Ooh, chicken alfredo. Thought you were gonna say you absolutely hate her. What? I didn't say any such thing. I hope I didn't. Cause she can stop shop in store. I am jealous. But no, I absolutely hate the new website. <laughs> I am not afraid to say it. Uh, I want a shop in store though, that'd be cool. I wanna go to the showrooms. I don't even know if like the showrooms of those places are like open again. Like 
a lot of the bead warehouses are in Washington. And so pre-pandemic, you know, they, they would have people like shop the warehouse, you know, that lived or drove locally. Oh, uh, wait, I went through the wrong side of that bead. No wonder it's weird. Okay. Excuse me, guys. Like I said, this piece has been frustrating me for like a couple days now, so if I yell at it, like, you'll know why. <laughs> um, but no, uh, I don't think the warehouses, like the, the floors, have been open for public shopping for a lot of the pandemic, if they're even back open. But again, it doesn't apply to me because I've only ever bought from them online or via magazine. Does anybody remember ordering <laughs> ordering beads via catalog? I did that. That was me. Um, back in my early Fire Mountain days, before, before they had a good site, I was catalog ordering. You could also order over the phone, but like I was never... Just... Ordering via phone just seems like a lengthy process, you know? Cause, cause, just, no. <laughs> Could you imagine being customer service, you know, and somebody calls in their order of like a hundred items? Like, no way. <laughs> Sophie, hello, welcome. Hi, hi, hi. I get all the all the different viewers at nighttime. This is great. All the people I don't normally get to ch chat with. Hello, guys. Oh, I ordered my prom dress through the J.C. Penney catalog way back in the day. Couldn't imagine ordering beads now or then through that format. Uh, like through the catalog? Yeah, it's not bad. Actually, I can show you what it looks like. Because <laughs> this page has not been updated. Ever. Like, I haven't done it this way in a long time, like since I was a teenager, um, but they still allow you to mail in your order. Let's see if I can find a catalog page, order page. Doo -doo -doo. Maybe it's in the smaller ones. Oh, come on. Let me have. Boo. Okay. Anyway, that's a catalog, though. Uh, this is from 2018. I haven't had a new one since then. Come on, guys. <laughs> I need a new one. Big old, big old hunk of huge guy. Oh, no. like this. See, catalog page. It's pretty routine, really, you know. What's your, you know, what's your billing address, what's your shipping address. You have space for 22 items, item number, quantity, page number, brief description, size or color of the item, the unit price, and the total price. And then Visa or MasterCard or whatever. Credit debit information. You do your totals. <sighs> yeah. Ta -da. Not too hard. Oof, look at the size of that catalog. <laughs> oh yeah, that was the big one. Th this is the baby one. This is the little one. Yeah. Oh, and to think, ordering through a catalog was how a lot of original houses were built, right? Right? Positively crafty rating with 15. Give me one second, guys. Hello! Welcome, Raiders. Let me put this up. Welcome, Raiders. Oh, yeah. I have a shipwreck catalog. I forgot I had this. Woohoo! Welcome in! Welcome in! Welcome in! 
Remember sending in a paper check for stuff? Yeah, I've seen in money orders if I can for those people who still require checks. Accessory, 2187, first time chat. Hello, welcome, welcome. Raw, we're the Raiders, yes. Um, and guys, this is a shipwreck catalog. This is a seed bead catalog. So it gives you a print, color accurate representation of what the beads look like. Here we go. These are, it's still tins. I like this too. It's pretty, it makes me happy. I like this better than the website. And then here's the catalog uh, order form, which is pretty much the same as the other one. <laughs> dark Raven, welcome. Ooh, so many Ravens. Now we have a Dark Raven. Hello, welcome. Crafty, thank you for the raid. How are you, what were you making? Elfman, how long would it take to actually make the design on the cover? Ooh, so cool. Somebody said beads? Uh, well, this is larger than actual size. By a lot. But it would still take uh, 50 hours or so, I imagine. <laughs> Thirteens, there we go. That's what I was looking for. Here we go. Thirteens and fifteens. This is what I was trying to show you earlier. Uh, but yeah. Ooh, so cool. Somebody said beads. Yeah, I say beads all the time. Long time. But yeah, these are pretty. And these are about ac actual size. Maybe a little bigger. True cut op opaque turquoise. Oh, is that what this is? No, it's not true cut. I didn't get them from here. We got these in here, though, somewhere. It said they were 15s, too, and that's a lie. Because they are not 15s. I don't know. That one, maybe. Oh! Alright, Deacon Wife, hello! Welcome! Dropping a quickie before dinner's ready. Alright, are you beating later today? Are you streaming? Thank you for the bits, by the way. Appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Opens new tab, browse all the beads. <laughs> oh, shipwreck? Yeah, shipwreck's great. Um, the website isn't great, but their their bead selection is great. I miss the old website. Why'd they have to get bored during the pandemic? <laughs> <sighs> I will say that forever. No, I stream tomorrow night, okay. Oh yeah. I just usually don't stream Mondays, but you stream the same day I stream, but later. Well, this would be a glow stream if I had a glow project out, but. Dinner's not gonna make itself. I totally understand. Don't worry about it. Thank you for the bits and the hellos. Thank you for the raid. Sorry. Everybody's purple today, or I'm mixing up my, my people, my, my guys. I like crazy. Uh, Shipwreck or Crazy Crow? I've never actually ordered from Crazy Crow, but I know it's very, very well, very well liked. I stream Tuesdays and Thursdays and also Saturday night. Oh, goodness. You stream way more than I do then. Whew. Uh-uh. Three nights is too much. Two nights is too much sometimes. That's why I do Mondays every other, every other week. Because I couldn't do it otherwise. Like, I don't have the energy. I can stream. I have the availability. I just don't have the energy. I'm not a very overly social person. So, like, the most social I get is on stream. <laughs> or in person, if you meet me in person. But, like, that's rare. So, uh, let me see. Let me catch up. Oh, I mean, it's not being dark out also makes it hard to glow stream. Right. Well, it's dark now. It's dark enough now. But then I'd have to, like, clean up this whole project that I've worked on all day. And then I'd have to, like, get out the glow colors. And then I'd have to figure out which glow project I'm making. It's, it's a whole big deal. So I'd, I'd rather just work on the piece I'm already working on around the time I would have started anyway, so. I'm just more more concerned about having more consistent Monday streams. Like every other is good for me. Yeah. Ah, five K 
gift subs. Holy moly. What? Oh my gosh. I was trying to read. Crazy Crow's decent. <laughs> and your hubby streams since you're moving soon. He's doing, taking apart my Lego models and packing what? Oh my gosh. Five gift subs. Okay, Era Deacon Wife, thank you so much for all those gift subs. We have BK, Sleeping Luna Designs, Rainstorm, you're in here. I didn't know that. Kana and Prince. All you guys enjoy your emotes. Thank you so much. Appreciate that so much. Uh, I can't even think. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for all the gift subs. My alerts are slow today. Also an amazing beater streamer. Yes. Oh, yeah, she is. Dude, I don't have... I, I don't have the... Whatever it takes to make competition-sized pieces like that anymore. Like, I... Every time I try to make a competition size piece, I just stop <laughs> partway through and I'm like, I'm good here. This is plenty. <laughs> but yeah, Air Deacon Wife, guys, if you have not followed her and you do need a amazing beater to follow current, do you, how, how many, how many, how many like Fire Mountain Awards do you have at this point? Like... You have way more current Fire Mountain Awards than I've had in a lot, in a long time. OMG, thanks for the shout out. Thanks so much. You deserve it. You're an amazing beater. And thank you. Thank you for the, yeah, I lost count. Um, <laughs> I tried counting once. I think I got up to 20. If we're counting like finalists and stuff, if we're counting just like awards, it was more like seven or eight. Um, it's back. Welcome back, Prince. Honestly, I lost count a while back. You got subbed in the, in the meantime, Prince. <laughs> Why? <laughs> oh, losing count is a good thing, though. That means you've made so much work. So much work. That's amazing. I love it. It's great. I think I can do brown all the way around. Oh, for those of you guys who don't even know what I'm making. Okay, so I have... I have a bezel and I have the piece that goes in the bezel. Let me stick it in there. Let me zoom in now, but I'm not showing off catalogs and it looks like this. Um, but I'm making a second underlaying layer bezel where all that blue and brown is because this was so deep that I had the room to do it. So like, I don't know, I'm, I'm goofing off. I have no clue what I'm doing. <laughs> Stop the contest back about five years ago. Oh wow, you haven't even like submitted in so long. What? Thanks. After making grand prize gold, silver, bronze, president's choice, and numerous lower rank gold, silver, and bronze. I truly lost track. Oh yeah. Ooh, I'll be on stitch again. Oh, we recognized it. Yes, I actually got some Albion on the side here. Uh, that's that's why I'm making this piece. I am actually, uh, for the bezel, I did use Albion stitch. Um, I've been trying for two days to get something good happening here. Um, and I ended up using uh, this middle segment of this bracelet as the bezel. And then I've been working peyote stitch off of the middle segment. It looks like she used like brick beads or something. What does she use? Yeah, bricks. I use super duos because that's what I had in the colors that I liked. So there we are. Um, yeah. So that's this is like my fourth attempt at Albion Stitch bezel. <laughs> it has been a tough. It has been a tough time for me. But yeah. But yeah. Grand prize gold. Man, I got grand prize silver was the highest I got. And I had to sit down when, when like, it was Arbel Sh Shemesh when she was still, like, the in, in charge of all that stuff. She's like, you're going to want to sit down for this. And I was, like, like still in college at the time. I'm like, what? <laughs> I actually won. <laughs> but, yeah, I've had uh, silver, gold, and bronze in the, the lower categories, but I'd never placed that high. And then I had 
I had an honorable mention one year. Which I don't think I'd ever seen before. Like, before I got it. I don't know. But yeah, I haven't done the contest in a long time either. Pretty cool. Nice. Those look like half Tila's or Rolos. I said bricks. But yeah, they, they looked more like Rolos. Or Rulas. Whatever. Yeah, Rulas. Ooh, I love Arbel. Yeah, Arbel was so sweet. Uh, I don't think she works there anymore. Well, I don't know. I know Tammy Hahnemann doesn't, and she doesn't. She went on to beadwork, and I don't know where she went from there. First ever contest I entered, I took grand prize silver. I about had a heart attack. It was the gemstone competition in 2011. Oh, man, you were, like, entering in the years that I wasn't. <laughs> Wait, 2011? No, I was still entering. Wait, I have something from that year. No, I have 2010. 2010 is the year that I won. Or 2009 was the year I won grand prize silver. But this was like overall before they did the ge the, the separated amount to gemstone and Swarovski and pearls and all that stuff. Like back before they split them out into six contests and then l l narrowed it into like three or four and then narrowed it further back into the one again. I just laughed when they did that. I'm like, you did that because Swarovskis don't exist anymore. <laughs> um, my heroes. <laughs> Beating heroes? Ugh. Oh, my, it, oh, dude, am I somebody's beating hero? I think I would just, like, I've already been called starstruck once today. Like, I don't need that again. Uh, no, she doesn't. Neither does Susan Phelps, who led the contest department. Okay, okay. Yeah, I didn't think they'd work there for a long time. And it's, like, such a shame, because on the website, there's, like, the back page advertisements. Not that there's much to be advertised on as much anymore these days, but uh, yeah, some of some of my pieces that got back page ads never got put on the website, so I never got like really good digital high quality images of them, which is sad. I heard a lurk. Hey, Deacon Wife, thank you for the lurk. You said dinner. You said dinner. Go enjoy your dinner. Have good food. Thank you for thank you for coming in. I'll be here for a little while at least, so you're welcome back if uh, if you are able to. Trinkets. Hello, Ra. How are you doing today? What are you up to? I think I saw you live at some point. But everybody was live today? Like, everybody? I think I was also, like, putting away laundry or something at that time. I don't know. I've mostly just worked on this. Literally, this has been my day. I thought I was going to be done in a few hours and call it good, but no, no, no. It's an all-day thing. Getting Peyote Stitch worked off of this, though. We're getting there. We're getting there. Okay. You see? It's gonna be two rows of beadwork. Contrasting against each other. I chose different colors on purpose. He knows the feeling. <laughs> Which feeling, Prince? Which feeling? Oh, the, uh... This is only going to take a few hours, but here I am, all night later, <laughs> still working on it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, excuse me. Oh, this won't take long. Ten days later. <laughs> One eternity later. <laughs> oh, this won't take long. I'll be on to the next task. It's what o'clock at night? If there was anything I was supposed to be doing today, well, it didn't happen. Oops. I was thinking I would look up which welding supply stores actually might 
talk to me and treat me like a human today. Um, my acetylene tank is about an eighth of the way full. Actually, there is some acetylene in there. There is no gas, I mean, no oxygen in the oxygen tank, which means I can't solder even if I wanted to. But the acetylene tank, it took me a lot of hand strength to turn the key to finally get it on. It does come on, but it leaks. I can't see the leak, but I can smell it. It is definitely a leak. And I can hear it. So that's not good. So I need to find a welding supply store that will replace my bottles, uh, exchange them for a refill, as well as somebody who will run me through how to work the little torch system without me exploding myself. I just haven't had very good luck. Um, around tradesmen actually talking to me without mansplaining. That's all. <laughs> That's all I want. Not to be mansplained to. <laughs> Leaks are bad. Yeah. Um, I don't know where it's coming from either, so I need help identifying where it's coming from. Because I can't even, like, practice light with the flint unless... Unless I know. So... Because I've done the soap test and the soap test isn't producing anything that is making bubbles. And so I wonder, I just don't know where it's at. I don't know where it's coming from. I don't want to blow my house up. <laughs> but I want to learn how to use the soldering torch safely. So, we'll see. Looks like you're using size 15s. I am using size 15s. We were talking about how I have smaller, how I have size 18s and 20s as well. They're insanely tiny. <laughs> Prince, ever get lost in work? Oh, I'll work on this for a few. Wait, it's dinner time. What happened to lunch? Where'd the sun go? <laughs> Beans, hey, hey, Chisato. Or do you prefer CC? Which, which do you prefer, CC? It's the most, that's what I've seen you Heard you called the most often these days. CC. Hello, welcome in. We have all the nighttime beaters, guys. What? Be right back, all right. I'll bead right here, Prince. Waiting for your return. Yeah. Hey, this is actually coming together. Did I have an idea that might work? How long has it been since you guys saw me experiment with something? I don't even know. But I've been like yelling at this piece in my Discord like all day yesterday and today. <laughs> For those of you who have not seen the beginning of this happen, I've been mad, mad at it. And so now I'm like finishing it out of spite. This is one of my spite pieces. Like I've done spite beadwork on stream before. I did a, a loomed piece using some beads that I've always wanted to use, and then I just hated the end result, And but I finished it anyway, like, grumble, 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 I don't care. And like two out of the three pieces I made out of that ended up selling. <laughs> Who are the night beaters? I'm a nightingale. <laughs> night beaters. Well, CC here, I've only ever seen at night. Um, not in my stream, but on their stream and on Era Deacon Wife's stream. And then um, Sophie, I see at night. And then Fat Bottom Girl, I see at night. It's quite difficult to find late night beaters. Uh, yeah, it's quite difficult to find l late night crafters in general, like in Makers and Crafting. Um, the majority of the people I follow are daytime, daytime creators. Um, 
just because that's when I'm the most social is in like between 10 a.m. and like 3 p.m. That's usually when I'm the most social. And so that's who I follow for the most part. But there are people I watch all all day parts, you know. Not so much like the 3 a.m. Like my 3 a.m., my time zone. But <laughs> I have been up watching people at 3 a.m., just not often. So, like, I have somebody for, like, every day part. But, again, there aren't many beaters late at night. You're right. Uh, accessory. I can never find anyone to raid when my stream is over. Are you also a beater, Accessory? Are you? Tell us a bit about yourself. You are new here, so I have no idea. What do you do, make, game, etc.? You are! <gasps> and you stream. Is this true? Do you stream? Do you stream beadwork? <gasps> Guys. Guys. Follow one of us. Yes. Go gobble, gobble, gobble. One of us. One of us. I need to make that command. <laughs> no, thanks. I have a beading stream. Bead weaving Wednesday, 7 to 10 p.m. Pacific. Ooh. Beading with you, to be exact. Hey. <laughs> hey. Welcome, accessory. We have all the beaters here. I try to collect them, you know, in a, in a friendly way, not a not a weird way. Um, I'm like my dad. I collect people. He was he was he was good at making friends with similar interests. That's a that's also what I do. So you are welcome to join us in the Discord as well. I'm there every day of the week. <laughs> Responding to messages and showing them as well if you have a discord Or if you use discord I'm in the discord All the time It's great to have more beaters and they're happy and I'm applying 15s as well raw You and your collection of 15s Like you put my collection of 15s to shame No <laughs> Because I have like 30 colors that fit in here, and then I have a few more. One, two, three, three or four more. So I have like 34 colors of 15s. Some of these are Delica 15s, so, so that's cool. I have red and white and black and the Capri Blue. I thought I had gold 15s, but I don't. Delicas anyway. What? No way. What? What do you mean, no way? That that your collection puts mine to shame? Yes. Maybe. I don't know. I know that you use them more than I do, though. Like, huge amounts of them more than I do. Mine are for accents. And for, like, decreasing. Oh my gosh, come on. Come on! You got 18s? I'm jealous. Oh no, don't be jealous. I have no needles that'll that'll work with them. The needles break the beads. You can't go through them twice. It's not worth it. <laughs> like, well, well, you use embroidery, so you could use them more. If you could get your needle to go through the beads, then you could actually make better use of them than I could. I'm late, oh no, it's okay. I technically don't have like an official start time. It usually just says sunset, but also I'm not glowing tonight. Obviously, you, there's there's nothing glowing here. There's nothing glowing on. Ha, 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 ha. Oh, yeah, they, they burst easily. Right, yeah. Like, I broke, like, 20 today just trying to get this row in. This top row in. Yeah, I broke a lot of them. <laughs> don't worry, Queen Home Slice. I don't have a set time. You're never late. At least not for Monday. Monday streams. I do them every other week these these days. It's still not officially in my schedule. I I was debating if I wanted to today and the answer is yes, but also I hadn't eaten, so I had to eat food first. Can only make three passes. 
for embroidery for size 18. So it's not too bad, though. That's not too bad. But, like, you could also be couching down. And then you'd only need to make one pass. And you'd be good. That's that's the benefit of two needle embroidery is you can use smaller beads. Only have to use one pass and still get I would argue better work than backstitching. Still too loose. What? But you get better lines. But I understand what you mean. Like some people just like really, really tight, dense work. It really depends for me, though. Look at it. We're getting there. We're making something. <laughs> what have you been working on recently, Raw? And are you in the Discord? I would have thought you had been by now. Feel free to share photos or send links. What is everybody making right now? Like, what are you guys working on? If you're working. Or recently. Most recent projects. There you go. What is most recent project of everybody? Dude, Frenzy's on right now, too. Jeez, all the beaters. All the beaters have been on today. What the heck? Oh. Ah. Eggplant. <laughs> Ooh. Maybe I should do eggplants. For bracelets. I have a peaches bracelet. But I could do peaches and eggplants together. You want to see the peaches bracelet? Yeah, yeah, we're, we want to see the peaches. But I could do this, but with eggplants, and that'd be hilarious. Okay, where are we at? 2020 sets, collections, fruit. This, 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 this piece. Get it over here. Boop. Peaches. But like, do an eggplant one next to it and make it a dual bracelet. <laughs> ah, but peaches, red plums, and black plums, and then my strawberries looked a little bit like chili peppers this last time around, so I'll probably just take the point one off. I don't know. We'll see. Hey, Summer! How are you? Welcome in! Thank you, thank you. I thought there were no lyrics, Pretzel Rots. Oh, that's me. That's, that's... Sorry, I had <laughs> Twitch up. My bad. An accessory stream going, I'm sorry. That is not what I wanted. I wanted this. That was shipwreck. But yeah, these were my fruit. Fruit, fruit, fruit. Accessory. I made a four leaf clover for St. Patty's. I'm currently working on a bead embroidery piece of Mondo and Baby Yoda. Oh, nice. Nice. That sounds fun. Uh, fat bottom girl. I'm pretty sure everyone should do have eggplants. <laughs> That's one I haven't charted yet, though. So, like, five beads wide is a lot more difficult to chart things than, than, than you think. I'm trying to think if there's a way to do ranch bottles. Like, ranch dressing bottles, because next week is salad day, and I, I need to do some salad pieces, like... This but red is just going to be a tomato, right? Uh, but this but orange would be kind of carrot-like. Um, I want to do ranch bottles on here, too. Raw, I'm working on a new beaded unibrow design. What? <laughs> oh, I see. Yeah, mask, unibrow. Gotcha. I, I thought you meant just the eyebrows bedazzled in beads. That'd be great. <laughs> I was like, oh my god, Tamla, please do peaches and eggplants together. I'm going to. <laughs> well, will this have to be two separate brace bracelets or on the same bracelet, just like positioned next to each other? <laughs> Sorry for disturbing your stream. Why? No. I just heard voices and I'm like, what is, what is going on? You have a lovely voice. I just, I thought it was part of the music. <laughs> But no, don't apologize. Now I know what you sound like. So there. <laughs> I would buy that so fast. 
Where's my phone? Do I need to invoice you? I have square. You're in my phone, woman. <laughs> Um, but yeah, anytime anybody wants a commission, I will, I will invoice you for it. Like, just message me. <laughs> Either one. I'd wear them both together. I am begging. <laughs> Send me a DM and we shall talk. Because I have uh, two other commissions this week and I might as well add another one. It's fine. It's good. Be good. Um, I have another loom bracelet uh, to match the one I made last week. And then I have, guys, guess, look what I have. Give me a week. It's not payday. Okay. Fair enough. Just let me know when you're ready. <laughs> I understand. Um, this is the other commission I do have going on this week, though. Where are we at? I'm waiting on beads because I ran out of black beads. But... Look it, <laughs> Mothra. Um, I'm actually doing earrings, so just take the torso, not the torso, <laughs> take the thorax out, the head and thorax. But I needed to chart the whole butterfly so that moth, Mothra, moth. I needed to chart the whole moth so that I could actually have proper symmetrical earrings and I could have a pendant if I needed a pendant ever. <laughs> Um, there's one white bead here, randomly. <laughs> uh, this is made with a beadographer. Oh, that's beautiful, right? I got the patterning very nice. Like, it was, it took a couple hours to chart. This was the hardest part down here, was where the circles, like, meet up. And the lines kind of work into the thorax as well, so, yeah. What's a nice mock throw you have there? Thank you. <laughs> But yeah, I got commissioned for Mothra uh, wings for earrings. So I'm going to do that. And then while I'm at it, I'm going to make the full pendant uh, for sale just to see, just to see, guys, because I know this is going to happen, if it will sell to a little old lady who has no idea what it is, because that's what always happens when I make nerdy stuff. Like I sold DNA earrings once to a lady who didn't know they were DNA spirals. Um, I have a pair of slime earrings from Dragon Quest, one blue, one metal, that everybody thinks are Hershey's Kisses. <laughs> I just laugh at all the things that people think the fan art is, which is hilarious. It, it makes me happy. I don't know, you know. It's beautiful. <laughs> but thank you. Thank you. So I'm going to make those later this week when my black beads come in because I used up my black beads in my Ladybug set, which is right here. Ugh. Ugh. Ladybugs. This is what I was making last week for those of you who were curious and I didn't get done in time. So I have to make this this week and then I have to start on salad stuff. And then I have to make salad stuff and arcade stuff at the same time. It's going to be a busy show season. Oh my gosh. So these are the ones that are done. Um, I have illusion blocks. I didn't put Qbert on this one. I will put Qbert on a different one. Um, I need to chart that separate here let's zoom out um we have some geometrics going on here these ones are woven in entirely uh, this one is so little it is one row loomed <laughs> it's ridiculous it's so tiny that's this checkerboard and then we have the ones i haven't finished yet which is the big ladybugs Hey, hey, ladybugs. Hey, pay attention. All right, get in line. There you go, big ladybugs. Looks 3D geometric pattern. Oh yeah, it's an illusion block. Uh, illusion blocks, is, or tumbling blocks, is what they're called for like sewing. Uh, those beads are so uniform in size, shape. What are those? Oh, these are delicas. Here, let me, let me show you. Do I have packaging? I don't have packaging. Um. This is my gradient pattern. But yeah. If I don't make them in delicas, they won't sell, basically, is what happens. Um, this is my background polka dots slash ladybug pattern. Here are my little ladybugs, or medium and small sized ladybugs, wandering all around the place. 
think I made it this direction. Yeah. And then this one is confetti. AU. And then this one is just my little diamonds pattern. Uh, fat bottom girl, have you ever, you have, I suppose you've never worked with Delica beads before? Okay, let me give you a link. And today's the last day of their sale, so it should be good. Well, actually, I prefer Aura, but let's go. Let's go to the place that has them on sale. I think Aura Crystals is still cheaper, though. I, I compared this morning, and I'm like, I think I still ended up a better deal. Okay, Miyuki Delicas are the industry standard for cylinder beads. Here is your link. Artbeads.com is having a spring sale up to 60% off. Is still learning. Oh, no worries. So Delicas have a more uniform size shape. I have not worked with those. Yes, Delicas are the industry, industry standard for cylinder beads. Um, they look like this. Let me get you really close up. Okay. Let me, let me find you a loom bracelet that does not, that is not as uniform. I have a blue one in here. I can show you. Because I'm not picky, really. It's just whatever color works best for me. Um, customers tend to like the uniform better, and most beaters tend to like the uniform better. All right, so... Here I have a mixture of Delicas at the bottom. Yep. Delicas at the bottom, but up here you can see these are size 11s for the blue. And you can see them next to the cylinder beads. So these are just 11, size 11 round beads. Just probably Miyuki. I don't know. They're Capri, Capri Blue. I don't remember where I bought them. Um, but these are all Delicas, just, which is great for pixel art which is why I use Delica's for pixel art. It's why I use it for like the little dot images. Um, okay, litter box is thoroughly cleaned and hot cocoa obtained, yes! You did all the adulting today, Elf. But yeah, so these are Delica's. Um, that link I provided up there is to Artbeads Delica page. And your other option, well you have two other options and these increase in price. Um, our Toho Treasures, which are these guys. Beep. Those guys are treasures. Uh, now I get to work on this diamond painting. I want to get more done so I can get off my desk. I want to do one, period. Let me see, do I have any Toho Treasures? I had some blue a while back, and those earrings are out there. Um, is there anything in here? I don't even know. Ah, yes, okay. Um, and really, you can't tell a huge difference. I like the randomness of check beads for some of my stuff, but sometimes I really need the uniform beads for projects. Exactly. I always tell people that all beads have their place. Um, there are a lot of people out there that will tell you Delicas are the best and there is nothing else. And I'm like, that's a lie. Whatever. Um, you know, if that were true, I couldn't make this piece that I'm working on today. You know, like, uh, you need the size 11s. You need the non-uniformness if you're doing something like what Ra does. Uh, he does beaded masks. He does embroidered masks. You need all sizes of beads for that. Non-uniform specifically. Definitely all beads have their place. Um, this piece, the blue beads are Toho Treasures. Uh, these are color lined Capri Blue. Um, and the other beads in here, the yellow and the cream are Delica. So like you can use them interchangeably. Um, I personally think that Toho's have better color depth to them. Does that make sense? Like a lot of the colors I'm really, really drawn to are the Toho colors, like specifically this one. So, so these are the Miyuki and Toho equivalents or the closest I can find for this type of green for this metallic-y 
green, and I like this one better. This one is Toho, this one is Miyuki. They're both cylinder beads. Uh, Toho's have bigger holes, which is the reason you'd want to use them. Um, so you can get a lot more thread passes. These are your color numbers. 706 is like one of my favorites. Toho's come in all sorts of sizes and shapes. Um, Miyuki's don't always have the full color range in all the sizes. Well, I guess, I don't know. Things are getting getting better. Um, and what was the other thing I was going to say? Oh, Eikos. I don't have any right now, but because they're expensive and you can't buy them in bulk, you can get them in, at Artbeats. So Artbeats is one of the places where you can get Eikos. And that's going to be this link. And the only thing I have of that I could show you is Elf got the last of my Toho Egos. Um, <laughs> she ordered a glow piece. Let me see. No, it's not that one. And again, like treasures, they are expensive. And like treasures, they are from Toho which is my preference of the two companies if given a choice. And it's gonna be this orange color here. Um, they are absolute precision, no culling involved, no variance whatsoever. Um, they're right next to Delica's on either side here. Um, but the differences are so minute that really, I just recommend you get Delica's because unless you want the specific colors that Toho has to offer, like this, doesn't come in anything but Echoes. Doesn't come in Treasures, it comes in Echoes. Um, which sucks. If it came in Treasures, I'd buy it in Treasures, but no. Um, unless you want the specific colors that Toho offers that Delica doesn't, um, then I would just get Delicates if you're looking for cylinders to start with. Yeah. All right, let me catch up on chat. I got sidetracked on Bean talk. Oh! And I lost my project. Please tell me the needle is right here. Okay, good. <laughs> Let me see. Do, 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 do. Def all beads have their place. Your elephant wouldn't exist otherwise. Oh yeah, that peanut bead. I got told from somebody who didn't even see it in person that she loved it this last weekend. <laughs> This last weekend, I got told that, you know, one of my customers was like, the piece you made your friend's mom. <laughs> it's gorgeous. I love that elephant. Toho silver line beads I have are my faves visually. Yes. You get it. You already get it. They're my faves too. Yeah. For my mask, my transitional sizes are mostly 10, 11, and 15. Yep, 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 yep. He's back again. Welcome back, Prince. Bigger holes, bigger holes in the Toho. That's the biggest reason you'd want it. The other reason would be the color difference. Elf with the Saren heart. Toho's are a must in some cases. Dang, so uniform. Thank you so much for the educational portions of your stream. That is exactly why I exist. This is the reason I stream is for the educational purpose. Because this town, they don't want, they don't, they don't want a beater <laughs> education. It was really hard to find students um, when I was looking for students in town, you know, and I would have workshops available and I would promote the heck out of them and then I would get crickets as far as students were concerned or in like two or three years I only had like five, six people ever show up. That was a lot. <laughs> I've... I've since the pandemic has started, I've actually met more beaters, which is great. I'm very happy for that. But like pre-pandemic, and I'm talking like this is 2018, right? Um, the end of 2018. I had spent a good chunk at the beginning of 2018 looking for beaters to teach. Or just anybody to hang out with, you know, and it was hard. And I had um, an acquaintance had told me that there's actually creatives on Twitch. And I'm like, wait, no. That makes sense. I'd heard about that. Thanks, Bob Ross. Yay. <laughs> and then like all the older partners who had like started 
on creative and I just hadn't looked into it myself and so I fell down the rabbit hole and here I am streaming my own stuff. Toe holes! <laughs> so be. But yeah, that's, that's what I'm here for, the educational portion. Toe holes in me. <laughs> That's 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 where we, that's where we use our face palm if we have them, because puns are the other half of the stream. It's half educational, half puns. There are no beads. <laughs> Hear thunder, rejoice! The first spring of storm. Ooh, yes, we've already had that all day today. It's been lovely. I love it so much. Bob Ross. I actually was, there was a marathon this weekend, so like I was watching a good chunk of, a good chunk of it this weekend past. Okay, so this is going to be the hard turn here. I wish I hadn't done this, <laughs> this leaf, but you know, we make mistakes. Okay, so this is going to be hard. So I'm going to have to ah, ah, get through this bead somehow without breaking my needle. Uh, well, I poked myself, so that means I'm going this direction. <laughs> now I have to go back through the beadwork from this direction and try to go through the opposite bead ah! in the corner here so that I'm properly decreasing at the tip there we go. It's like a negative herringbone kind of deal. You guys can't see a thing I'm doing. It's okay. This wasn't meant to be an educational piece. This was meant to be a frustrating piece for me. Hopes it wasn't a truck. <laughs> no. uh, there we go. Let's get closer. All right, I'm almost done with this row and I can check the fit shortly afterwards. But yes, Fat Bottom Girl, you are totally welcome for the educational aspects. Feel free to ask me a question anytime during stream. I will I will answer it. I will dig stuff out. I will make a mess of my desk. My desk is already a mess and there's a mess on the floor behind me. So we're good. Don't worry about like making things worse. It's good. <laughs> well, I definitely can't see shit, but it's okay because education. <laughs> and I can like bring it closer. Look at this, there we go. But then, like, you won't be able to see some of my face. But we do have a lioness pin on my camera strap. I just need a, I need a better zoom lens for this camera. I love my camera, but I need a zoom lens for it too, so. Don't be. <laughs> Pearl will go full tutorial on stream. <laughs> uh, Pearl will go full tutorial, teach you how to brick stitch around a button, get point redemptions for said button project, and be forced to finish said piece on stream. This has happened before. And, and that piece sold. So like that piece never would have sold if somebody hadn't asked a question. Uh, okay, let's try a different angle. I'm trying not to catch my thread around the leaf because I've already done it once or twice. And it wasn't fun. How about if I bend it? Yeah, there we go. Open up that hole. That sounded gross. <laughs> Don't hit your head. I won't hit my head. It'll just look like it to you guys. Wow. Um, I'm still about six inches, eight inches away. But yeah, there, now we can see better, but you can also get a full great view of the DSLR. <laughs> I love my camera, don't get me wrong, but it, it, I can't afford anything other than the kit lens right now. I would love to have like a huge zoom, um, but that was one of the compromises I made with this camera was that the kit lens isn't super, super macro, which is sad. How many pages left of Beater Late Than Never? Oh, um, this is a good question. 
If I tell you and we're close and we hit that goal, you guys are going to have to help me bu bug Igso about it because he volunteered for this. Let me clarify, I did not ask him to do it. Lenses are so expensive. Yeah, they're only a couple hundred though. Depending. Depending on what you get. Is it nine o'clock already? Jeez. Okay. Let me count. Let me see. Where are we at? Beater late than never. And our little queep bird. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23 out of 25 pages. The two of you can, can redeem your points, add to the total, and then I, uh, I gotta hand it off to him and say, here's your thanks page. Yeah. <laughs> Roll that beautiful bean footage, but not off the table. <laughs> there we are. Thank you, Elf. <laughs> Beater late than ever. You're on here, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Let me give you another tick mark. I don't know if he's going to do anything special for if you redeemed points extra times, but you will get your names printed in the thing when we get it printed. And it will be available digitally or in print to ship out. So, um, and for sale. I may do giveaways of, like, I may do giveaways of it, like, when it first comes out, but it's gonna be for sale in the shop. So, yay! For those of you who don't know what that means, um, it's bead puns. Where are my bead puns? Let me see if I have them easily accessible. One sec. Okay, maybe I made things worse for myself. I rolled stuff over on the floor. These are examples of what will be either updated and put into Beater Late Than Ever, or, or, you know, things that never made it in in the first place. Okay, now let's 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 go out. Uh, but examples are the tornado, the bead tornado, <laughs> vacuum cleaner. Um, and these are all things Ixo came up with at one point or another, or that I helped him with. Um, this person has beady eyes. Ooh. Uh, <laughs> beater playing darts. Needle. 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 Uh, but he's going to digitally remaster these, so it'll be vector lines. Uh, this, one, this couple has a, has a good libido. He's tangled up. <laughs> oh, this is our list. I sense a project looming. <laughs> That's what my old loom looked like, my old big loom. When we first got together. <laughs> Acupuncture, not quite the needles I'm usually poked with anyway. <laughs> Do, do, do. One of these things and not like another. Do, 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 do. Yeah. <laughs> Beating rodeo. Remember all those speeds lost in the carpet all those years ago? They've been adapting well. Cheerio. Wonderful expedition, eh, chap? Yeah, stuff like that. Oh, this one's great. Now this listing is a wonderful two bed, two bath town container nestled in a great neighborhood. <laughs> anyway, stuff like this, but more stuff like this or digital digitized versions of stuff like this. 
No, this one's me. Who's your cute little washer? Yes, you are. This one's him. <laughs> Some beaters may begin to view their projects not as beadwork, but as children. <laughs> More of this. More more of the jokes now that I have an audience for this. We tried to do this and sell them at craft shows like 10 years ago, but we, I didn't have any takers because like I hadn't found my people yet. You guys are my people. <laughs> I can't reach my filing cabinet. Except for the beta holland neighbor. Hey. Hey. That would be me. <laughs> Me tea. Tea good. I have lemon loaf tea, actually. It's very yellow. But like glazed lemon loaf. It's Tazo brand. Because we were talking about Joy tea like the other week. And then Ixo had gone to Target and was like, hey, look, it's the thing. I'm like, get me that one, please. <laughs> And so he came home with it. It was sweet. Okay. So I think I finished my row. I stepped up. I did. I did. So now we have double layer of... Oh my gosh. Do I got Do I gotta time you out, beads? Okay. Double layer of beadwork. It's not a bead. Make it a bead. If it doesn't have a hole in it already, it will. Dating. Okay, there we go. So now it's actually holding in place, whereas before it would still like move, move out. There we go. And I still want to add. more rows in here so probably more of the brown and then probably brown and then i've got kind of a salmon that kind of matches the orangey salmon in the front here so that's kind of the idea i don't know how this leaf is going to end up laying in the in the end but we'll see so more brown for this row. It's starting to, there's some like real stiff structure happening in here now. That's, that's cool, that's cool, that's cool, yay. This was such a, the tension on this has just been weird the whole time. So now I'm just gonna do one brown bead in each stitch and it shouldn't be too hard now that some of the angles are less severe and I'm reaching the outer edge of the beadwork I should just be pointing back and forth doing peyote stitch one bead at a time all the way around you could glue the leaf down I will in the end I think It's basically just there to cover up the hole in the top of the thing. Because it came like that. Like, I bought this as a pack of, like, plastic faceted domes, I guess. I don't remember using most of them. I really only remember using this one. And the button covers up the hole in this one. So, yeah. It will also secure the gym. Right. Yeah, exactly. But yeah, I will glue it down. I just wish I hadn't stitched it in so early, but I didn't know that I was going to be doing more at the time. Sometimes the piece just kind of tells you what to do, and you're just, like, along for the ride. For a good chunk of this piece, I was uh, trying to force it and it was fighting me 
so I just let it do its thing, and then now it's now I'm having a much easier time with it. I'm just here to make it happen. It's 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 driving the bus. Prince never seen him use that way. Most people glitter the backs. Oh, the the glass caps. Well, these are plastic. It's a plastic cap. Yeah, I guess glitter or paint the back or like um I've seen like old magazine ads or like you know the old collage type like vintagey look kind of thing happen. Yeah, I've seen that a lot. Um, but this was a doodle that Ixo had done like forever ago and I always thought it was pretty. So like I wanted to protect it, but also bezel it at the same time. Acrylic, yeah. yeah. And I don't just have acrylic, I have glass ones as well. Um, but not from the same set or the same molds, I guess. They're not faceted. They're just glass cabochons. Some are circles, some are squares. So like this is typically what you see. So and they magnify with whatever's behind them a lot, you know, you can sometimes they fit inside bottle caps, sometimes they don't. Um, but I have that and I have the square ones. I got given these. I don't even know. And then, like, the regular slumped marbles. I found this one on the ground. <laughs> and I cleaned it up. And I have a little tiny glass square. Earring sized, I guess. So, like, that's typically what I see. And then I have this one little piece of plastic. Nope, glass. As glass. Which I can do the same thing with this that I did with this big guy and I think it'd be real cute because this is a drawing I did as if I were seven um, <laughs> and I could do something else small and set it behind behind the glass and then bezel around it like I did here and then I have a piece of formica that's the same size as the circle so that would be cute. I could do that again, but smaller. I think that'd be that'd be nice. I don't know. It's a it's a style of work I like making. Around artwork. Around tiny artworks. I don't make them often, so like I take my time when I do make them. But yeah, this one came to me because the big ring looked like a picture frame. And so I'm like, yeah, that could that could frame like a little painting or something. And then that was the basis for the whole necklace. And it worked out great. And this is there's a piece of plexiglass in the front here. And then there's my drawing underneath. And then ta-da might actually paint something next time. This was just colored pencil. But yeah, I like it too. I think it's cute. And just the whole thing, the whole thing is great. It's just, it's just a good piece. Like, I can never really properly show how well a piece is compositionally the full thing on stream. It's just sad. That's what photos are for. <laughs> That's what the photos are for. Yeah, it was just, it's just a good, good piece. And I guess I'm leaving that there. Because I'm not, I don't want to put it away. I don't want to put it away is the reason my room is always a mess. <laughs> and why I'm tripping over things on the floor now. So fun. Yay. I don't know. So I'm trying to remember what I was supposed to be doing this week until I got caught up finishing this thing that I had started yesterday. Oops. So I was gonna finish this, and then I was gonna like get my notebook open and decide what I was gonna do for the day. But it's already past nine o'clock, so <laughs> what am I gonna do tomorrow? I know I'm gonna stream tomorrow because that's my normal stream time. OMG, that'd be a great idea to make my little niece's art into. Yes, do it, Prince. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. So like this, get a teeny tiny piece of art 
and a teeny tiny piece of plexiglass or even smaller and then bezel of your choice I chose Swarovski pearls so oh, come on there you go I did right angle weave with Swarovski pearls and uh, gold 11 O's and then on this side I peyoted around and then I did some netting around and it's actually purple I know it doesn't show very great on stream but it's a lavender um, and these were all from that purple mix that I got at Art Bees a long time ago. I got given that at one point. On this side, I, oh, I guess I had started on this side. I had brick stitched around here, and then I did picos, and the picos were the basis for the right angle weave. That's how I did it. I did the brick stitch first, I did the picos, I did the right angle weave, I did peyote stitch off of this side of the right angle weave, and then I did the netting after having cut everything to the same size. But yes. Make your little niece's art into something, something she can wear or something like someone in her family can wear. That'd be great. You're good at it. Man. You're good at it. Yes, this is, this is, this is starting to look nice. Look, you can start to see the brown show through. <laughs> Yay. Maybe scoot over in frame. <laughs> Usually I do raw than decorate it. Yes, raw is best. I would not recommend Albion for a bezel. I have cried at this thing. No, I've just yelled at it. I want to cry at it, but I've yelled at it. <laughs> Queen Home Slice speaking of Nashville, you should come visit again. Hint, hint, wink, wink. Did I speak of Nashville? I don't know that I did. <laughs> I totally should, and I miss you dearly, and I love you so much. I should totally visit. Just cuz. Is today Tuesday? No, ministry today is Monday. I, I typically do glow streams every other Monday, but my normal stream time is Tuesday. So, I'm just confusing you, that's all. <laughs> Why are you streaming? Well, I should be glow streaming, but I got obsessed with this project out of spite, and so I'm going to finish it. But I should be glow streaming, really. That's, that's where the real confusion is, is I'm not glow streaming at night. <laughs> Prince, it's probably the shape figuring. The one in the book was round. Yeah, true. Well, yeah. Yeah. Also, I don't own Swarovski's uh, Rivoli's for the most part, or just Rivoli's in general. And that's typically what people bezel around <laughs> when they're writing books like this. I think she was, like, bezeling around Lunasoft cabs, actually. I can't find Lunasoft cabs. Does anybody know where to get any? Please. Give me a link. I need some Lunasoft cabs. I want to know if they glow under a black light. Every time I think I'm like, yes, this place has them. I go and I look and it's like, no, nobody has them. Where do I find Lunasoft caps? Queen Home Slice, love you too. Bad streamer says ministry. Hey, I am a good streamer. I am just surprising. Surprising. Tear and drops. Tear drops aren't easy. Pairs. Yes, pairs. Ooh. I wonder if I could do pixel art of pairs. Probably. Wouldn't be too hard. I'm always thinking produce for bracelets because I sell at the farmer's market. Produce sells. <laughs> Go figure. Mine it just isn't edible. It's eye candy, though. And wrist candy. I want to finish this row. I want to see if it looks pretty. Probably need another row after this though. And then I can do the orange row or salmon. It's kind of a salmon.
There's so much bead work in this piece. There's so much beading going on. <laughs> Fruit jewelry is fun. I had them funky great bead earrings. Ooh, where it's just like uh, head pins all connected onto a chain kind of deal. Like I know that's a thing that happens with grapes a lot. did a grape set. I actually followed a tutorial by uh, Beading by Hannah on YouTube. I actually found her on Instagram, but she has a YouTube channel. And that was actually worked just fine for grapes. I, I was making stitch markers as part of a commission set for RLB like a couple years back. I think it was a couple years back. I don't remember. I don't know. Abano. But I get to make Mothra, ri Mothra wings this week. And a matching bracelet for the bracelet I made last week for a customer. Which that's actually the priority this week is because that's paid for and I said I'd have it ready by Saturday. And I should have it ready by Saturday. I can. Like whatever I end up getting on the loom will just... That one will have to come off on Friday so I can finish it up. You know, because you got the first one and it was like, boop. Daughter wears at home. Okay, I want another one. Okay, let's do that. And she just handed me another 20 and went on her way. I was like, okay, I can do this. This is fine. It's a really fast bracelet too, so but good and meaningful. And then the Mothra earrings are paid for. I'm just waiting on black beads to come in the mail so I can't do anything about them if I want them to be nice pretty pixel art. Except keep an eye on my email. Come on Fire Mountain. Not Fire Mountain. Um, that's where I got the loom. I bought my last set of beads from Aura Crystal Beads. No. Aura beads, Aura crystal beads. Yeah. <laughs> um, which art beads right now is comparable to what Aura crystal beads is. If you need to do an, like a all sorts of kinds of beads order, go to art beads right now. If you only ever want just, just seed beads, I recommend Aura crystal beads. Um, I actually got a couple of, they have a few shaped beads as well. So I got some honeycombs and I got some uh, dragon scales as well. Just because they had yellow, like a shiny yellow dragon scale. And I thought that was pretty cool. I don't make dragons much. It's not my first animal to go to, but I love the, the shape of the scale beads. Like they're so cool. And they're like different colors on different sides. So like you can get a weird rainbow effect with them. It's really neat. I used the dragon scales on like my embroidered peacock for the feathers and it was fantastic. So like if I make other birds in embroidery, the dragon scales are gonna be what I use. So I'd love to have a collection of those. I still wanna try storm duos though and I haven't ever done that. I haven't, I haven't found a place to buy storm duos yet that I've wanted to shop at. And I don't want to just go to one website to buy one type of shaped bead. I'd like want to buy other things while I'm there. Uh, fruity jewelry is fun. I had the funky grape earrings. Oh yeah, okay, it was the 80s. They were huge. Oh. Do you have photos or links to show me? Because uh, I would have been not walking in the 80s. <laughs> well, maybe by the end of the 80s. I would have been walking. 
There we go. Look at that. Dude, it's cool. It's holding its shape very nicely now. Nice. Maybe I could find picks. I've seen a lot of them. Okay, cool. There we go. Yes. Weird. Never done this before, so like this is a first. So I have no clue what to expect. Some of them aren't like showing from underneath as evenly as other parts. I don't know why. I'm not gonna question it. I wish I had better blue. 15s, but I don't. Well, I don't have any that intense. Well, I know you can only see the blue up there now in the original piece, and I, I had a feeling that was going to happen. But we'll have blue everywhere else, so it shouldn't be too big a loss. do another row of the brown so that you can see it everywhere and it kind of looks like the black in the drawing so that's why I chose the dark brown that I did also I didn't have any like copper or kind of goldy coppers of the super duo color so hmm so another row of that and then a final row of this salmon color to match the bottom of the tulip. And then we've got too much going on. <laughs> Need to call it quits soon. <laughs> Probably should have already called it quits, but we're too far in. We just gotta, we just gotta like go overboard. If we're gonna go overboard, you go all the way, man. I'm using orange thread. If anybody's curious what my thread is today, I have orange henna. This is also available on Art Beads. Um, it's an exclusive as far as I know. I've never seen it anywhere else, and I think I saw somewhere that it was exclusive. It's probably like in the advertising in the magazines back when magazines were a thing. Do you guys remember those magazines? Henna beading thread. This is 109 yards. Also Japanese. Uh, goldfish is the color. It's a very nice orange. I love the colors of these threads. All the beading thread, guys, has gotten more expensive. Like, Sono has bumped up by like a dollar and a half per spool. I'm like, oh, help. Makes me very glad that I just went and got the green Nymo because I got I got spool my mo because I'm I'm not I'm not buying other colors of green for six seven bucks a pop like no let's just spend 30 36 bucks have have green Nymo forever this is fine <laughs> you want to see it it's so pretty I haven't even used it yet look 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 It. I haven't had anything green since I bought it. I've only had it for a week, mind you. And last last week's pieces weren't green, uh, but this week's pieces will be green. Um, I'm doing salad, so salad, obviously. Lettuce is green. Um, so, yeah. Oh, all the Nymo, baby. I'm so happy. I got D. Yeah, Nymo D. Ta-da! 
Shoe green. Shoe green. Whose shoes are this color? Raise your hand if your shoes are this color. Like, I don't think so. Um, oh, Fat Bottom Girl. Yes. Um, I don't know what threads you're using, but Nymo is the most common of the beading threads. Uh, let me get you my other spool for comparison. I've had this for... I've definitely had it pre-pandemic. Probably a year or two longer than that as well. And that's as, yeah, nothing. I have not made a dent. <laughs> I have not made a dent. And I have used this red so much. Raise his hand. Camo, you have green shoes. Is it this color? Because this says shoe green. Your shoe must be this color green. <laughs> Pretty. It's a pretty green though like I really really love it like I haven't had a green this nice I had a khaki colored green thread that was not the thread I thought I'd ordered I went back to the website later and it was like oh man it was a column up <laughs> but I didn't like review my order before I hit send yeah one of the greens is all right fair enough Nymo is my fave so far I just haven't bought a big spindle of it yet. oh man then you're gonna love the big spool because Bobbin Nymo is inferior to Spool Nymo. You'll hear this said, you might have already seen it said other places. Um, and for the most part, I haven't had too much issue with Bobbin Nymo, the little tiny round guys, um, splitting or fraying bad. I had a beige color a little while back that, that did pretty gross on me. Um, and black every now and then will will be weird but for the most part it's fine but this stuff is so much better so much better like I think I should just be carding up some of this for you guys like on some like little bobbins just make some cards and every time I send something to somebody I know is a beater just send you some spool Nymo and let you guys try it out I did that at like the last show I was at. Um, there's a lady in town that I've met recently. Her name's Tiffany. She does really amazing. Um, she's taught herself to bead by looking, following all the tutorials for globe ornament covers that she can find in like the old issues of the magazines and stuff and old books and things. And she's done pretty much every globe globe cover I've ever seen in print <laughs> um, or ones that she finds online too and um, we were we were talking thread at the show and I had my thread with me because I also bring projects to work on right and so I just carded up some thread for her at the show so next time I see her I'll ask her how she liked it Elf. The Air Force uses sage green for their combat boots. You know, you're right. I I actually have combat boots. I mean, I have Clarks that are this color. Clarks that are this color. So, yeah, I have green shoes. <laughs> Why was I making fun? I just can't wear them much because they're falling apart. <coughs> Oh, the difference? Uh, it's heat treated. It's it's made on a different machine. It's probably made in the same factory, but it's made on a different machine and with a different process than the regular bobbin Nymo. This is all I know. That's as far as my knowledge goes. Stuff seems to be expensive in bobbin size. Really? What? Well, yeah, what is the cost of Nymo these days? Nymo! I'm a white. Two thirty six. That does seem pretty expensive for just a bobbin. One second. All right. Here's where it gets fun. <laughs> All right. Do we remember the big catalog? I actually did this uh, when I was ordering. When I ordered the green spool, I was looking at thread prices and comparing them to the catalog. And this catalog is. Uh, 2016 to 2018. This was a comprehensive for Fire Mountain Jibs. And the thread is always in the back. 
So let's go to PC view. I'm just doing art beads because that's the side I'm already on. So 236 for a bobbin of Nymo. White. Plain old boring white. Where are we at? 2016. A bobbin of Nymo. Not oh, bulk. Oh. Two bobbins for 413. How many does this come with? One bobbin or two bobbins? Sixty-four yards. So it's just one then, isn't it? Yeah, sixty-four yards for D. So, yeah, Nymo is twice as expensive as it used to be. What the heck? 246. 246. I, I don't have these for Fire Mountain. But 413. So 212. Well, no. No, 413. 206. Let's say 206, 207 is what it used to be. And now it's up by 30 cents. Well, no. It, yeah, yeah, sorry, uh, each. It used to be 206 each, now it's 236 each. But yeah, it's getting more expensive. Dang, I just need to order online instead of visiting the big craft stores. <laughs> true, true, if you're shopping at Hobby Lobby, if you're shopping at Michael's, it's going to be more expensive in person. Um, and Art Beads is actually, um, that's the on sale price. So 249 is still more expensive than it used to be in 2016. Um, let's let's look for KO or Sono. Let's look for Sono. That's gonna be the biggest indicator, really. <gasps> Jerk. Okay. Do they not have Sono? Let's look for thread. Thread. Go back. Ooh, supplies. Stringing and wire. Kohaku Moon, hello! Naimo, yes! They make you pay shipping and handling. That is true. Prince is absolutely right. The price of the item might be cheaper online, but you are paying shipping, handling, and in a lot of cases, tax. Gets so much hate. No, oh, Naimo gets all my love, dude. We are looking at beading threads. And we're comparing to the old Fire Mountain catalog from 2016, 2018 to see the difference. So uh, Nymo is more expensive these days. Uh, is 1G in here? I don't even remember. I don't think 1G is in the Fire Mountain catalog. Not from that far back for sure. No. And we don't talk about Ceylon. It's junk, don't buy it. It's not worth your time. Sono though. I guess they don't. I don't like Miyuki beading thread. Personally, not my thing. K.O., I love K.O. Henna, I love Henna. I haven't tried Emiet yet. But it's by Toho, so it can't, can't go wrong, right? Well, that's what I thought with Miyuki, too. Miyuki makes great beads, but I don't like the thread. But I love the crochet thread by Miyuki. I think it's fantastic. <laughs> that's why they're more in the store. They tack it on. Exactly. Yeah, everything's a compromise. Uh, I've heard good things about good thread. Actually, I need to add that to my cart. Uh, this is John Bead, I believe, makes good thread. Uh, 500 spool, black and white. Oh, boring, boring colors. 920 for 500 meters. That's pretty good, actually. But yeah, this is a John Bead product. Uh, this is the lady who was making the globe ornaments. She was actually using this. I'm like, what is this thread? So I'm willing to try it. I know nothing about it other than she liked it. She liked it better than regular uh, bobbin Nymo. But like I said, spool Nymo is king. And I want to use this baby. I want to break it open. It's already trying to come open. But I'm going to use this for the first time this week. Um, but yeah, Kohaku Moon, I am right there with you. Nymo is the greatest. 
and Spool Nymo is even better. I don't own but one bobbin of bobbin Nymo anymore. But these spools used to be $30, now they're $36. Let me see, is that right? Oh uh, yeah, they used to be $30.42. I paid $36 and some change for this one. And when I bought these ones, they were at $32. So I bought this roughly 2018, I want to say. I bought this one last week. <laughs> oh, it came in the mail last week. I bought it the week before that. But yeah, that's, that's the big thread debate. Let's just throw stuff on the ground, shall we? Throw it on the ground. This is fine. But yeah. Um, what was I doing next? I don't know. Actually beating? <laughs> Fidgeting first? My pants are digging into my, <laughs> into my stomach. Pant line is uncomfortable. But today I'm using Hannah, which is an Art Beads exclusive, so that was on that list. I really like it. It's a very springy, springy thread. It's got a lot of elasticity to it. So it's great for places where there's a lot of tension on your thread. Um, if you have to frog your work a lot though, like it will start to fray on you. So careful there. Uh, during this piece, since I have frogged this piece a lot, I have had to be careful not to let the weak spots be used in the beadwork itself. So I've had to cut it short a lot more than I would have liked to, but like I said, I frogged this piece a lot so far. <laughs> Has not been an easy one. Shopping for beading is indeed its own hobby. It really is, and I hate shopping. I really hate shopping. I've always just liked shopping in person, online, doesn't matter. Um, I'm trying to enjoy it more, but I love shopping for beads in person, and that's just not always possible, you know? Ugh, I feel that on the fray, yeah. But all bead threads fray, guys. All of them. You know. Fireline doesn't, but, like, it has its own drawbacks, and Wildfire doesn't really, like, the coating comes off, though. But like every, every thread has its drawback, every single one. None of them are perfect. So it's just really what you're willing to compromise. Fireline can fray, yeah. Yeah. Fireline is banished from my home. We don't talk about it anymore. I got mad. I probably really just got mad at a friend for continuing to break a piece made with Fireline. But the second I made it with Nymo, she stopped breaking it. So it's like, hmm. <laughs> Found out the fire line don't last. No, 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 no. I've always wondered that too, you know. So like I have some older pieces that I'm like, I'm curious. Are you going to hold up? <laughs> but it was, it's, you know, intended to be biodegradable. So like, yeah, there's some concern there. <laughs> I have frayed them all except Tiger Tiger Trail because I keep forgetting I have some. Oh, Tiger, like Tiger Wire. No, Tiger. I know what you mean. I don't think I have any of that. But yeah, most of them fray. A lot of them have elasticity. Some of them don't have elasticity. It's really just what you want it to do. I use all of them except for Ceylon because it's a evil evil Ceylon is evil I would rather use Fireline than Ceylon and I don't want like either one <laughs> neither one of them are allowed back in my bead stash the Ceylon is in the Oort jar right now all of it all 12 spools I just I just fucking gave up and I just went no I hate you you, you stupid piece of shit <laughs> stupid piece of thread <laughs> you're gross um not allowed. 
Eslon is great, though. Like, the thicker stuff? Like, the macrame thickness stuff? Or the beading thickness stuff? Because sometimes the beading thickness is called Eslon, too. And, and it's super confusing. And it's like, I don't trust you. Yep, the thick stuff? Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, like, I still have some Eslon. I have one. It's it's red. It's for a macrame piece. I like it. Uh, it untwists, though. But I wasn't burning my ends at that time. So, like, that's why it untwists. Because it's not secured. And then I got a lighter and I started burning my ends. And it, it was heaps better. I haven't worked on that piece in a while. Tex 18, I think. Same size as crochet pad. Oh. Really? Can you crochet, bead crochet with it? Do you bead crochet? You've done like you did crochet and beads but like you did it was sort of bead crochet <laughs> Ooh, that's good to know because I really like the Miyuki bead crochet thread I think it's fantastic compared to like upholstery thread which is what I usually bead with uh, bead crochet with which works depending on the color and the brand. But yeah, the Miyuki crochet thread. This stuff, this stuff is great. I love it. I actually got this color of it. It, there wasn't like a huge amount of it though. How much is in here? How many meters? Could make me zoom in on the picture. Twenty-five meters, like that's nothing. That's nothing. You can you can fit a lot more on a spool this size. Just like give us more. Come on, that price for that much is nothing. So I am almost out. Like I did some practice pieces on it, and it's like a waste of thread at this point because I didn't even end up with a proper piece. Well, I did. I ended up with one proper piece, but like I should be able to make more than one piece, you know useful for bead kumahimo as well oh guys i owe you bead kumahimo do you want me to just refund those points because i totally haven't gotten around to it <laughs> the last community challenge i feel bad I need to get to Kumihimo eventually. It'll happen. Not today. No. Not today. Um, I need to just put a chain on it. Abandon my uh, bead crochet rope. My single bead crochet rope. Because I'm not interested enough to finish it and make it a bangle. I just need to put bead caps on it and make it adjustable and call it good. I came to that realization at a friend's house while we were working on our crochet projects together. Um, and I just, I just wasn't into it, man. Like I, I have learned all I'm going to from that first project. I have lost interest in it and I just got to go on. And I tried to actually shop for bead caps locally, and lo and behold, there were no size 12 millimeter bead caps in person. Go freaking figure. <laughs> so upset. And then like, when I bought beads the other day, I, would, I remembered, hey, I need bead caps. And then the site I was ordering from was like, there are no bead caps here. And I'm like, you jerk. <laughs> How dare you defy me? I need bead caps. It's like, tough luck. Go somewhere else or just buy your beads here. And so I just bought my beads there. <laughs> One worth it. It's like, 
I'm half debating, should I just make bead caps? And then like spray paint them gold, because I have gold paint. And I have thin enough copper that I could dome. I could likely dome. I don't have a dapping block though. I would need a dapping block. I would need heat annealer. It's just like, all the options are far too complicated. <laughs> and I don't want to make a beaded bead caps because those look janky sometimes. I've done it before. They're fine. I think I did like herringbone ones out of super duos at one point. It was okay. Like I do them out of this color that I have here. But like, I don't I just wanted metal bead caps. I just wanted it to be done and easy. Oh well. There we go. I still don't know why this one doesn't come out as far. Hmm. I don't know. Okay, let's test the fit again. Loving this more and more though. Look at that. Ooh. Yes, please. All right, what do you guys think? Do you think I should call it good or keep going? One more row or call it good? I think call it good is probably the safe answer. Or wait, I could do one more row and I think that bead hole would be covered up. And then I could just, here. That was annoying me anyway. Hey, look, better. Okay. I think any more may hide the pick too much. I, yeah, that's why I'm like debating. So like that bead is secured in anyway, like it'll be fine. I think, I think we need to call it good here, but I think I also need to like weave back around to that. I don't know. Secure that into that top stitch there, but this is covered up now, so we don't need the leaf. And I like that little four bead accent at the top anyway. It's super cute. I love the colors. Thank you, Kohaku Moon. Thank you. But yeah, I think that's great. I think we're actually ready to go to the back. Ho ho, fancy us getting somewhere. Oh, that was totally worth it, guys. Look at that double, double bezel. Look at the bezel twice. I feel fancy having done that. And all I did was I stitched in the ditch on the inside and built up a few rows and just repeated the increases and decreases of the bezel. Yay. Okay, so I am going to secure this bead. This bead to these two right here and to this one here so it snugs up a little more. Which means I have to weave all that way, all the way to the top. But that's okay because then Whatever I do here will start in the corner and go around here on the back. So now I just got to turn around and weave my work, weave my needle through the work. Oi, if I'm lucky. Fine, go that way. 
have some fancy maneuvering left to do. Yeah, I don't I don't want to overdo it at this point. Like, and that leaf was way too much, so put those where I can see them and put them away. But I don't need them for this piece. I'm using a size 11 needle, by the way, guys, which if you have a piece where you're working with size 15 beads at all, like just don't even bother using a size 10 needle for the whole project. You're going to hate yourself. Just use a size 11 or smaller. Save yourself a heck of a lot of trouble. All right, so I want to go through, okay, let's see if I can get this right. I'm going to go through this blue 11. This is partially to help reinforce since I cut off the leaf. I'm going to try to go under these teeny beads and through this 11. Ugh, I got something caught. Ah, oh, what happened? Something came off. That one did too. Okay, whatever. We don't need you. Part of where my leaf was attached came came apart but i think the rest is secure so we'll deal with that loose thread here in a second go back through this 11. no no now all my threads are tangly oh no that was part of it dang oops i don't know that hmm this is what I get for being rambunctious. No! Oh no, okay. All right, so first. <laughs> Fuck, okay. Fine, if we're gonna come apart, let's do it this way. <sighs> Messed up. I shouldn't have cut that. didn't realize that was the same thread. So I'm setting all these over here because I know the needle can go through them. I whoops did. I made a bad. So I gotta go back and add a new thread. Try that again here in a bit. Man, that sucks. You gonna do the same on this side? Are we good? We're good over here. Okay. Just trying to square stitch those two together and then come down through this bead. That's all I wanted to do. No, I had to make more work for myself. better way to do this okay I can do this I goobered but I can fix it I like that blue though I want that blue in there I got this. I am fix it. Watch, watch, watch. Ha 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 ha. Ready? 
Nope. I got this. I got this. I got this. I got this. Okay. I can fix it. I can fix it. <laughs> okay, just straight go through here. Skip to the other side. Just straight skip it. There we go. And peyote stitch one bead in each all the way down to meet the side where I have to tie the threads together, not add a new thread. Ha 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 creative creative fixing. We got this. Thanks for the 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 support and encouragement, friends. Knowing you guys are here. <laughs> that's what this piece has been the whole day it's just been like one faux pas after another after another after another it's just like things break or things like don't work out or my math is wrong usually it's just been my math is wrong i don't know who took the brain cell for the math today but like i haven't had it since yesterday it lives <laughs> yes it's getting there I'm, I'm adding i'm adding the blues back in and then I will tie these threads together and then tie off in opposite directions. That's how this is going to go. Perfection. Or on the same thread. I don't know. Hey, you went over this needle once. Why aren't you doing it again? Ha, ah, got you. It leaves. And then we can do the netting on the other side. But we won't be at the tip when we do that, which is a bummer. But, you know. We'll still get it. I can weave to the tip. Just the tip. <laughs> but that might not work. Depending on how full of thread the beads are on the other side. Those first rows were kind of thread heavy. So a little worried about that. Beadwork is sometimes about course correcting as you go. Sometimes you just gotta roll with it and uh, have a plan B or a plan C or a plan H or a plan Q. I'm out of plans sometimes. <laughs> um, yeah, I wasn't gonna let this one get me. I wasn't let, gonna let this one like throw me. There was a bracelet a little while back that I didn't get to make happen. Uh, the first bezel, first two bezel attempts for this didn't happen. Well, technically this is my fourth attempt. Uh, it looks exactly like my third attempt. Except, uh, here, I gotta tie these together now. I didn't lose any beads. Yay. Nice. Um, Except this is a more secure version of what I did for the third attempt, so. And it turned out for the best. There we go, double knot there. Weave through and tie off. Half hitch somewhere along the way. And call it good. And then I can start a new thread on the other side. Or I could use this one. I would rather start a new one, honestly. Plan Z, then you start on Greek. <laughs> what happens if we want run out of Greek letters? Serious question, though. For like, for like extra variants. Like, we're already at Omicron. Like, <laughs> what's, what's the next like dangerous variant gonna be? Black Frosty, hello, and thank you for the follow. Thank you for beating my friend, and welcome to the beatbox. I'm Vanishing Pearl. 
I make miraculous bead saves in jewelry. BA2 is next. Well, it's an, that's an Omicron sub-variant, though. Like, BA1 is, is what we just went through. BA2 has already been in South Africa and the UK. It's probably making its way over here. I don't know if we've had any BA2s in town. I know we had a... Yeah. Mmm. Yummy ass. Let me see, what do we got? J-Hall, love, hello, welcome guys. Alchemy symbols of planets. <laughs> hmm. Good evening, beaters. Glenna Houlihan, hello, welcome. What do we got here? But yeah. Um, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I know BA2 is an Omicron variant, though, so, um. Hello, welcome. Sorry you guys are caught in ads. I know, it happens. We're beating Naughty. <laughs> yeah. Are there Billy Eilish? But hello, welcome. Welcome, new peoples. How are you today? Welcome in. Are you guys also crafters? Are you gamers? What have you? Thank you for the follow, Black Frosty. I see that. I don't know if you were also caught in an ad. But Drog? Drog? Welcome. And Flana Houlihan, welcome. And Jay Hobo, welcome. How are you guys? <laughs> Billie Eilish has Adobe ads for some reason. You know, if you need a model, why not get the people who are popular right now? Because when I think of graphic design, <laughs> I think of Billie Eilish. <laughs> you know? Obviously, who doesn't? Droog. Like Droog, okay. Drew with a G at the end. Okay, I can do that. Droog, hello and welcome. Yeah, when I think of graphic design. <laughs> okay, I had to laugh at that. that that's, that's good, that's fun. Um, man, the end of this is frayed because that's where I cut it. And that's where it was rubbing up against the beads in the beadwork. I just want to weave in my end. That's one of those things. Hannah thread does fray. When it frays, it frays. And so, like, I have a hard time threading it. And this is the last, the last bit, you know. It's not fair. That? Yes, okay. Flana Houlihan. I started by watching Perry Caravello and through the power of raids, somehow ended up here. I'm just going with it. All right. See, I don't know that I just got a raid, though. I didn't get any notification. But, like, Crafty raided me earlier, so I did get one. Emma, it's DS9 time, so I'm going to lurk. DS9? I don't know what you mean. I love you, though. I miss you. Enjoy your lurk. J Hobo rated. Did you really? I did not see that. I just saw the hellos. But thank you for the raid. I appreciate it. What do you do and how was your stream? I did not get a raid alert. That is so weird. I figured since there were new chatters, but I didn't <laughs> hear or see anything. Hello, I, I he tore, I, I he tore. <laughs> Jay definitely sent us here. I figured it was somebody new. Hello and welcome. I am unfamiliar, but thank you for coming into my little nighttime stream. Usually I do like UV glow in the dark, black light beating streams, but this project demanded to be finished today. So let me zoom out a little bit. I'm a little too far in, sorry. Um, but I am working on 
Queen Roma Romana. Thank you, thank you. Came from Erondorite's raid on J Hobo. Then he raided you. Hi, I destroy money. Hello, welcome, J Hobo. Thank you for the raid and for bringing all your friends. Sweet. And all these new viewers. Hello, Queen Romana. Thank you. Thank you for coming in as well. Uh, this is what I'm making today. It is a fancy ass bezel for this little drawing that my partner has made. He doodled this forever ago. I've got another piece like it that I'm actually imitating. Um, that's this guy. Ta-da! So this is the older one. This is the newer one. Obviously, you can see I've gotten a lot fancier <laughs> in the time in between. I is in coin sculpture. Ooh, interesting. That would make a dope bolo tie, you know? I've never had anybody commission a bolo tie. There'd always be a first. My great uncle made lots of bolo ties. He was a lapidarist. Um, so I don't have any of his stones left to make with, but yeah. Coin carving engraving. Oh, that is neat. That sounds fun. The piece looks amazing. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that because I have fought with it for like over 24 hours to try to get it this far. Um, I was learning a new technique for the side here. Uh, this is a bezel. It's called Albion Stitch. Uh, well, it's a variation of Albion Stitch, really. But I was doing the middle portion of a bracelet to turn into a bezel for the side of this here. So, yeah, it's it's definitely busy. This is the more beadwork than I typically typically do. But yeah, oh, well, it would. Well, Hobo nickels. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. Um, typically, what I do on this stream is I do a lot of simpler work. Uh, today's a little more fancy. Or I do glow in the dark, um, which I can do later. But recent work that I finished, this is, this is an older piece. So I'm going to do something fancy on the back. Probably not the same thing, but something similar. Um, and I've got another piece here, necklaces. I don't have any earrings with me. My earrings are all in the other room. They're in the garage on my earring tree, so I can't really show those off for you much. But I have this piece. It's a drawing I made and bezeled. Do a variety. Got a bunch of loom work bracelets in progress. Here's illusion blocks. Got some fancy patterns, geometric patterns. Got threads all over the place because they're not finished. All the hearts. Ooh, that's a cool emote. I like that rib cage heart. Whoa, cool. I'm so sorry I didn't get a raid alert. I'm so sorry. So you didn't get the reaction, just like new chatters. <laughs> um, I've got a gradient here. I've got ladybugs. These are all inventory pieces. I do farmer's markets every weekend. So I am a working artist. This is what I do. I do bead weaving. I do it for a living. So I have a bunch of bracelet sets. Uh, this week I am making uh, salad themed things. I'm making carrots and tomatoes and salad bowls and ranch dressing earrings, ranch dressing bottle earrings. That'll be cute. But yeah, these are all the things I was working on last week that I didn't get it done in time for last week's market, but they'll be done in time for this week's market. Ever make moccasins? I have not. I am not indigenous and so Anything that is even remotely of indigenous tradition, I will defer to somebody who is. So I have a couple of streamer friends here who I would ask that you ask them to make it instead of me. Um, I don't want to be inconsiderate of any cultures. So Queen Romana, thank you so much for the follow. <laughs> Like I am like maybe, maybe 132nd Cherokee and that is not near enough in any, in anybody's mind to qualify for um, as a traditional artist. So I don't want to like overstep any bounds. <laughs> um, so no, I have never made moccasins. Like before I knew, me knew better, I had made like older designs back when I was still learning, you know various types of things um but i know better than to put any 
monetary claim on anything that is not of my culture. <laughs> I tore. If you mess up the pattern and don't realize till much later, how do you fix it? I ignore it and nobody else will notice. That is what I do. <laughs> it is not worth it. <laughs> but native culture is American culture. True, but I am not of indigenous descent. Yeah. And so I don't want to ruffle anybody's feathers. I appreciate the beadwork. And if anybody comes to me with anything of that nature, I defer them to um, my friends and acquaintances who are because it just seems rude. It, 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 it just seems rude, you know, like, yeah. <laughs> if there was something I had grown up with, immersed in, or even just like adjacent to, but descended from and hadn't learned myself, I would still feel offended if somebody like took something and used it for their own gain. Like, I, I just, no, no, we're not good. Okay, so actually you might want to see what one of the finished bracelets looks like. So I've got a loomed bracelet here. It's a winter fall bracelet. So I have a little tiny cabin in the snow with random snowflakes falling on it. And they have an adjustable clasp. They've got a French wire closure, pearl dangle on one end, Boop. just like that, little bracelet. Our price tag's on this one because it's a display piece. He's for sale. Everything I have is for sale. Like, you can always DM me stuff, so. Yeah. Yeah, I don't ever want to, like, offend anybody. And if I do, I want to know that I've done it. Because <laughs> it rude. It rude. Yeah, so, no, I've never made moccasins. I've never made moccasins. I've never done anything with Thunderbirds on them. I've never done anything in the Métis style of florals. Like, I did do tulips once, but I know better now, so I don't do like the, that stylized version of tulips. You know, I do what I can, if I, and if I've like come up with something and accidentally it looks like something else, that's one thing, but you know, yeah. How much for that flower pot back? No! Mom made that. <laughs> Has a lizard on it though. It's two lizards. Uh, she mosaic them. <laughs> okay, yeah, I see what you mean. All of my beadwork is for sale. The stuff that you see on stream. <laughs> Most of it, anyway. Some of it was personal projects that, like, I really should have uh, <laughs> not spent so much time on. Would Miwapan uh, know how to do ma moccasins? I think she would. Uh, I would recommend her, uh, Chisito, or Quirky Beadwork. Those are the ones I know of for sure who are indigenous. I don't know if any of them have done moccasins. I know I know Cece Chisito, she does um, caps. She does the beading around the caps. Etsy pages. Ooh, I don't know. I don't have everybody's everybody's socials on me, but I can shout some people out. Okay, W J P A N. Ooh, don't make me spell things. Damn, I spelled things wrong. Okay, I know how to spell quirky, so. Yay. <laughs> Don't make me spell things. Dude, my little sister has the worst, like, to spell username. Uh, just as far as people I know. And then CC. Ah, Chisa Toe is in chat right now. Thank you. <laughs> um, yeah. Those are the people I would recommend for indigenous work. Where do I source my beads? Everywhere. Uh, most often I use Fire Mountain Gems, Art Beads, Shipwreck, Aura Crystals, and XYZ Beads as far as online goes. Locally, Michaels is fine. 
Yeah, I... I'll try that spelling. M-I-K-H-W-A-P-E-N? Did I get it? No! We, we got it wrong again. Like, I can say it, but I can't ever spell it. Nope. So... <laughs> Am I HK? Wait. You know, this would be easier to look up. Am I HK? This is my last try. There we go. Got her. Okay. <laughs> uh, what did I spell the first time? Anyway. Me walk on. She um, is great, Danny. She she mostly does earrings that I know of. Uh, that doesn't mean she hasn't done moccasins. Um, Quirky's up for anything. Like she's great. She's up for anything. But she has a long list of stuff that she she makes. And um, <clears throat> and Cece, I don't know, Cece, you're in chat. You can answer. Do you make moccasins? I don't know if she's lurking though. Um, I know that I've seen her make ball caps though, with the with the beaded rims. I just don't know. What are moccasins? We just don't know. Okay. Um. Where do? Why do I want this to start? I want to do netting on the back like I did for this one. Because I'm lazy and I don't want to do peyote stitch. <laughs> so. <clears throat> figure out how I want this to look. I'm just going to start right here because if I go through that bead again, it's probably too full. So. But yeah. I'm game for anything that is not indigenous i will do any modern art i do have things that are exceptions i won't do wire work because i can't properly price i can't proper properly charge my time because i'm terrible at guesstimating my time for wire work <clears throat> so i don't do wire work commissions i don't do kaleidocycles because i'm tired of them um and then everything else you know for the most part i am amenable to custom requests that is not indigenous and not indicative or of any hate speech or imagery so yeah I'm open open to commissions for the most part elf I think I'm four nights done with this diamond painting that is almost half but not there yet I guess there's nine parts to it. Okay. What color do I want to use next? Uh, orange. Blue, brown. Orange? Do we want orange? That might work. Three or five. Netting is usually good in ones, threes, and fives. Sometimes seven. It's a bit much though. Yeah, let's do five. No, I just had three strips and I'm about one third of the second strip. Okay, okay, I see, I see. picky isn't it it's weird that the paint color I had was the exact match of these beads it's just so close it's like oh weird okay what bead am I even exiting out of okay 
Damn. Okay. <sighs> I gotta do some on the fly planning. It's fire, as in a picture of literal fire. <laughs> oh, jeez. Cool. Can't find my paint. Oh, no. I don't have many paints. I have like four colors because I don't paint often anymore. Let's do three instead of five. Let's make it. Let's make it more decorative, huh? Right, so here, and then here. Maybe I shouldn't have reinforced my first row. I have regrets. I have regrets. Regrets. There we go. Make a lot of my own elements. Oh, yeah you do. make more of my own these days, but I haven't always. Like I did those polymer clay bits for that last piano hammer necklace, which was great. I finally did the thing I was going to say, I said I was going to do. <laughs> actually said that one on, on stream once. I'm going to make these. I did it eventually. I first said it when Elf was getting her glow stream. Because I remember her like offering to make the shape for me. I'm like, let me try it in clay first. And so I finally did the thing that I said I was going to try in clay. Uh, make doilies, heart, and can't find the line. Wait, what? Oh, the dolly. I keep reading it as doily. Doily heart. <laughs> um, so you made the dolly's heart. But you want to paint it lime green? Is that what I is, is that what I understand? I think that's what I understand. Elf, what do we got? Yep, okay, cool. Ooh, fire. Book it. Fire! I like that. That's fun. That's cool. Come on. Get her. After this first row, it'll be a lot easier. Okay, just get that out of the way. This might be too many, but I don't care right now. I'll check the fit as I go, I guess. Get. Get. Ah, aha, aha. Totally gonna bend this needle. It's impressive. Tulips don't bend easy. Oh, for being all browns and blacks with a tiny bit of white yellow. It's very fire like. I would have expected more oranges. Yeah, you. No? There seem to be enough oranges in there. Well, you said browns, though, right? So, like, I, I understand. Also, I have it on the wrong monitor. Ooh, okay. Yeah, I see what you mean. I understand. <laughs> Maybe you didn't need as many oranges to look like fire as you thought you did. Who would have thunk it? Okay, so these are going to turn in. But I don't think I want that many. Like, I don't think that'll look good. No. I don't know. What do you guys think? Too many? Keep going. 
It's going to look crowded. I don't want it to look crowded. It's testing my patience today. Oh, how long is this thread? Jeez. How about every other one? Long thread. Jeez. I do this to myself. <laughs> Come on. Lost a bead. Oh well. Lost several beads today, actually. I also think I should probably do size 15s here, but then I couldn't use orange in this spot. Yeah, no, go with the 15s. It's smarter. Yeah, so when this is done, I'm gonna frame it, then create a fake mantle on the wall, and voila, I'll have a place to hang stockings for Christmas. Instead of threes and space them further out. Or sevens? Or sevens and threes? I could do sevens and threes. I haven't done netting in a long time, guys. This this was probably the last netting piece I did. And you watch me make make it for the most part. Well, I mean, the reason I thought of it is because my mom used to make construction paper fires and hang our stockings over. That's so cute. That's adorable. Uh, there was there was one year where our car broke down for Christmas and we usually go to my grandma's house, right? And you know, she did the whole thing over the fireplace and everything. Um, but there was one year in fifth grade where our car broke down and we couldn't get it fixed in time for a road trip to my grandma's house. And so that's the wrong bead. Um, and so one year, my sister, who's, she's four years older than me, um, on Christmas Eve, what she did is she got me and my little sister, because it was just the three of us at home um, that year. Uh, she got me and my little sister, and like we all, like, she was clever about it. Uh, we all colored Christmas pages out of some coloring book or something, right? And then, and then she was like, no, you guys, you have to hang them up, and we'll have to, like, hang them up with a nail. <laughs> and, and me and my little sister were like, what? Okay, whatever. And so, so we hung them up with a nail, each of us by our own bed. And she had like, she bought candy and stuff and like hung stockings above our bed while we were asleep. <laughs> and so we woke up to like Christmas stockings you know, on a year where we couldn't really celebrate Christmas the, the way we usually did. And then that part was cute. But the next part was we spent Christmas Day, my sisters and I, playing Monopoly and my older sister won. And instead of, you know, like playing with Monopoly money and the way we did it, we always put money in the middle, not the bank, you know. 
So instead of putting money in the middle the way we usually did, we put Tootsie Rolls in the middle, which was our candy. And so we lost all our, all our Tootsie Rolls to the sister who was thoughtful enough to give them to us in the first place. <laughs> <laughs> free parking, yeah. We played free parking with putting money in the middle way, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we totally did not play the rules right. But, like, we lost all our Tootsie Rolls. <laughs> anyway. So no Tootsie Rolls for us. Uh, but it was memorable, so, you know, there's that. There. There. This is better. Sevens and threes. Yes. And they'll do orange and blue on the next passes through, I guess. Four. Five. Six and seven. We always played free parking gets taxes and landing on go was double pay. Oh, fancy. I don't know. You people played landing on go is double pay. I love how everybody makes up their own rules for Monopoly and never actually plays it correctly. And then like every time you meet somebody and you're talking about Monopoly, it's like a completely different game. It's great. <laughs> and then like Ixo, he grew up with the British Monopoly because um, his dad had been in England when he bought his board, right? So like Ixo grew up with the British versions of all the of all the tiles. It was so he's like What what is this square? <laughs> That's cause true Monopoly rules are terrible. Yeah, nobody plays Monopoly correctly, it's fine. We also do not play auction rules. You know, I don't think I ever played auction rules either. Wait, not everyone plays that way? <laughs> no. Some people play it by the rules. Some people make up their own rules. Some people make up rules other people have never heard of. Like, I've never double paid on Go. And part of the reason why nobody knows the rules to Monopoly is because their parents all thought the rules were stupid and so they played their own way and so they taught their kids to play their own way too. <laughs> Everyone plays a different prince. Everyone. But yeah, we played it where um, a bunch of the stuff that we that you're supposed to pay to the banker, right, ended up in the middle of the board on top of the monocle man, right? He doesn't have a monocle. Um, my brain. That's that's Mandela effect. Um, Mr. Moneybags in the middle. And then if you landed on free parking, you got all the money in the middle. Not even Rockefeller played them rules. <laughs> and then I have Lord of the Rings Monopoly. Anytime the eye is rolled, you move the one ring towards Mordor. And when it reaches, the game is over. What? <laughs> I've never even played the other versions of Monopoly. I learned that uh, my town has a Monopoly board game too. Found it at like Goodwill once. I was like, what the heck is this? <laughs> it was the most bizarre thing I'd ever seen. That's four. I'm missing three beads. Hey, 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 no. Okay, so I guess I can say I don't like Hannah for bezels that are heavy on the beadwork. I have the original Pokemon Monopoly. Nice. There are so many versions. So many. There's a Monopoly version for everything now. I've only ever played the regular version. I've seen the British version. I've seen a few different versions, just the boxes, but I've never like opened any of them up and seen what the different squares are and stuff. Boyfriend got Animal Crossing Monopoly. Okay, that's a thing. Today I learned. You know what I also learned today that broke my brain? Broke my brain. Um, Because I was 
mostly one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, I was mostly today beating while listening. Uh, after Saren's stream, I just switched over to YouTube and was like listening to like the Mon the Monterey Bay like aquarium lo-fi lo-fi hip hop to some like shrimp <laughs> shrimp video footage. Ixo came in and was like, what the heck are you doing? I'm like, what? It's shrimplicity. <laughs> Simply shrimp. Um, he's like, you don't want to listen to anything else? Well, and I was like, well, you know, I think I want to listen to Ziggy Marley afterwards because, you know, it sounds like a good time. He's like, oh, the Arthur's theme song stuck in your head all day? And I just looked at him and went, <gasps> you're right. Because uh, I was thinking of uh, Dragonfly, you know, his album from like 2013 or whatever. And then, and then he brought it up on a different, you know, tab. And sure enough, Ziggy Marley is the voice. It's the artist who did the Arthur theme song. And my brain just made a connection. It didn't know it needed to. That's, that's what I learned today. With Snape on the tower with the killing guards. <laughs> Oh man, is Harry Potter Clue a thing? <laughs> it's amazing. It's actually kind of fun. And a use of Harry Potter fan fan thing I think I approve of. <laughs> why, why is that one? Ah, I spliced a thread somewhere. Yeah, it's real, <laughs> nice. But yeah, Ziggy Marley. Is, is who sang the Arthur theme song. I didn't know this. Apparently, I needed to know it today. I never did actually go back and listen to Dragonfly. Dang it. I love that song. I love the whole album. Maybe after stream, I can finally listen to Ziggy Marley. I've been wanting to listen to him for like several days now. Don't even know why, just randomly guys know how it is it's just like it's not because a song is stuck in my head it's just like you know that sounds pleasant <laughs> but yeah so that was the connection my brain made today you're welcome if you didn't already know it but it also explains why I've always loved the theme song to that show so which just ended by the way after like 25 years on syndicate on TV like not even in syndication yet it just been on TV for 25 years like that is the longest fifth grade has ever lasted for anybody <laughs> like I don't think they even got to sixth grade did they like I don't know I stopped watching because I grew up um, <laughs> and I don't have access to cable <laughs> television at the moment well, you know, I think I get basic channels, actually, with my antenna, so I could, you know, maybe find a PBS-esque channel. One of the PBS's. Mm hmm. Okay, this was a better option than that first try with the oranges. They'll even out, I promise. Eventually. looking so nice two three four five six and seven I'll need more brown beads later I wonder why my second rate alert never went off I don't know why twitch be weird but ink. No, I haven't even taken a break. Oh, I've been live for three and a half hours almost. What the heck? Guys, why didn't you tell me to stretch? <laughs> what is my life? I tell you, this piece has just sucked away my whole Monday. Random thought, but I dislike the games with the electronic debit cards for currency. I don't... What games are you talking about? 
what? That is a random thought, but I have not encountered any such things. What do you mean? Four, five, six, and seven. Like versions of Monopoly in life have electronic debit cards. They take half the, oh. That's weird. Yeah, no, half the fun is like figuring out how to count money. Like, why would you just, how does that even work? Isn't the point to feel like, like you have a whole pile of money? Maybe you want to feel like you have a whole pile of digits? That's no fun. Heck, even when I like sell at the markets and people hand me 20s all day, it's like, heck yeah, dollars, you know, versus their card and I just wait for the deposit later. <laughs> had a couple times lately where people just walked up to my booth, said hardly anything to me, and just like threw their money at me. It's like, okay, I'll take it. I don't know who you are, but enjoy the whatever you bought. <laughs> Friends put a progress piss picks up doll. I cannot believe I'm still Are you jeez. You and me both. I think we're just like fabric, right? You are. There she is. Let's see the dolly. What we got? Looks like you're almost done. Oh, the bow with the skull is so cute. But you're putting lots of little tiny detail work into this too, though. Like, oh man, I love her hair going back into the bow. Like a little ponytail. Does she have arms? I don't remember if she has arms. But yeah. So you made the heart. What did you make the button out of? I know you said you made it. It's so cute though. Oh guys, did the good dolly. No arms, okay. It doesn't really need it. I know you linked the pattern earlier, but like, it doesn't really need it. Those were my high school colors. Oh really? You know, those are pretty decent high school colors. Mine were just black, black, red, white, gray. Boring. Like, my high school is the most generic. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Our colors were black, white, red, and gray. Gray was for like the sophomores to wear, like the freshmen wore. You know, white, and then sophomores wore gray, or the other way around, I don't remember. And juniors wore red and the seniors wore black, like at pep rallies and stuff. And then, like, we were the bulldogs. Yay, the most generic of all, the school mascot. Animals, a bulldog, we. <laughs> Plastic milk carton. Oh, neat. Good use. Oh, and then for some reason, my graduation, they made us wear sky blue instead of the blue blue. Well, you know, like, let me get this on the right monitor. I'm sure that's just what the gowns they could find were <laughs> in sky blue. I was a Spartan. Ooh, that's neat. Uh, my elementary school, we were the Trojans. So that was fun. There was a giant ass sculpture outside our school too. It was really cool. And those were black and gold. Those colors. So Spartans, that's actually one I haven't seen much. That's neat. There was one somewhere in my memory that was Spartans, but I don't remember who it was. My mom was a pooper scooper. That was legitimately her high school mascot. That's amazing. <laughs> we are the pooper scoopers. It was like the good team in that district, like some sort of dog. <laughs> Why is that blocked? Why is what blocked? Oh, I don't know.
He was born of my aunt jar. No, I saw it. I didn't respond because I didn't remember to. But yeah, aunt jar. Ort. Ort jar. That's what I meant to say. You typed ought though. Um, my brain is reading correctly, actually. Um, not translating properly. Four, five. Ah! Come on, six and seven. Okay. But yeah, that's that's cool. Just like colors that you like grabbed out of the ort jar and then made stuff with afterwards. You know, to match. I don't know. Please explain more. I want to know. Okay, that bead is is this one's blocked. Okay, is that what you meant? I don't know. Yeah, I can't get through that. Color matching from the ort jar. You know, you might as well. seven not five there you go just a bunch of scraps just added more blue all right that sounds awesome yeah I don't make anything with my ort jar after after they're done uh, they're just like sand art for me I just look at them <laughs> and I kind of remember some of the projects that I was working on if there were like massive bunches of the same color at once like all this orange will make a nice line once it's all squished down so I'll remember I was working on this piece you know because it's very aggressively mean to me that's why I'll remember it elf did you see the cow joke I put in the thing for the baby shower I wasn't there I didn't know it was happening wait no you baby shower or do you mean bridal shower wait you said baby shower did I miss something did you mean bridal shower? She literally rose from the dead. <laughs> you know, that's amazing. That's a good way of putting Put pictures in Saren's Discord. I don't know what you mean. Who had a baby shower? What? You had a baby shower. Wait. Do you have news to share I don't know about? <gasps> what? My mom's friend. Okay. <laughs> Who had a baby? Or, or I'm out of the loop, guys. I don't know things. I've just been hiding in my own little world, I guess. Um, no, I did not see. <laughs> but did you host the baby shower? I guess. I haven't been to one in a long time. The last baby shower I was at was for a coworker of mine, uh, one of my trainees actually, but like the only people there that I knew were me, her, and one other coworker of ours. It was very weird and awkward and like definitely not our people. Her nursery theme is baby cows and I happen to have a cow thing I engraved on the glow forge. One second, I'll get the link. Yes, please. Yeah, I'm not familiar with the story. Yeah, I didn't know who had a baby either, Pred, so I was like, out of the loop. Three, four, five, six, seven. A couple of Ixos friends have had or are having kids. Like, recent. One wasn't doing so hot, and now he's much better, which is good. Why? Are we on that side again? Oh, I hate when it does this. Front side! Alright, what do we got? What do we got? <laughs> Bless it. <laughs> Blessed cow. Let the baby bear into my sister so. <laughs> and here is the back. How do cows like their coffee? Calfinated. Calfinated. <laughs> Your 
funny. <laughs> Alright, let's try this again. <laughs> we love the puns. And the bad dad jokes. And exclamation joke anytime in chat that you guys want one. Or pun, exclamation pun, anytime in chat you want one of those. Those are going to be beating related, so. Ah. Have I really been live three and a half hours? That's not real. I'm never going to sell this piece. It's okay. It wasn't meant to be sold anyway. I knew I was overdoing it. Elf, I also gave her a blanket I had been working on. Better to get rid of it than keep it and never use it. I guess so. Especially if it'll get used, you know. Oh, did I add another three beads? Oh my gosh. This piece hates me. Okay, start, take all of them off, then add three and do the stitch. Prince, my nephews love puns. Maybe I should ask for advice. <laughs> uh, I am not quick-witted tonight, guys. You caught me at the wrong time of day. Come back tomorrow. Elf. They did a Price is Right game where they bought a bunch of baby stuff and we had to guess the amount. I won. Oh, neat. Cool. Weird. Okay. What did you win? I did see you mention something about that earlier. I think maybe in Saren's stream? That you were off by like 91 cents or something? You were the closest but that's all the context I had because I had just joined stream. <laughs> Why did I have to make real buttons? Friends, you did this to yourself. <laughs> I think you're doing it in commiseration with me spending all day on this. So you needed to like drag out your project to make us end at the same time, maybe? I guess 115. It was 115.91. Oh, nice. Got a basket of spa stuff, like a bath bomb and foaming scrub. Ooh, fancy. Is there a candle in there too? I want a candle. Nope, all me. <laughs> okay, you did it to yourself. I had nothing to do with it then. The next rows will go faster. This first row is just kind of tight in these uh, seafoam colored beads. They're, uh, yeah, super tight. Super, super tight. One, two, three, four, five, six, and uh, seven. There we are. Okay. <laughs> You've seen my simple inhaler bag. You know, yeah, and that took. There were several days of updates. I don't really know how long it took you. Ow! I poked myself. Have you lost your inhaler since you made the bag for it? You said the plan was to not lose it. <laughs> Please don't lose your inhaler. Um, Alf, the one that got me was, I, I thought was a face mask. No, it's a butt mask. What mask? Like, people really care about that enough to stand for 20 minutes with it in. In or on? I hope you meant on. <laughs> no candle, but I have some of those. So now I have <laughs> a reason to go use my giant tub that I can actually. <laughs> okay. Sweet. Big tubs are noise. I have not. Big tub does sound nice. I just have a standard size, regular tub. 
I also have a standing shower. <laughs> yeah, I am confused about the butt mask as well. Like, why? Why do you care so much, people? There's no reason. Like, how often is anybody going to see that? I've never had a tub this big. It could fit two people if they switch. Oh, yeah, because you have a new house, right? Yeah, cool. Um, no. Like, I think my oldest sister, like, in one of the houses she had built, she had, like, a two-person tub. Can't you lay on your belly? Yeah, I'm sure you could. Or, like, go sunbathe. I don't know. <laughs> Why? I don't even want to show that on stream. Like, no. No. What a luxury. Like, <laughs> I don't even use face masks. I meant the tub. <laughs> Why not both? <laughs> but a luxury. <laughs> oh my gosh. Two, four. Let's do five. Yeah. Let's see how it looks with five on each increase here. So we're going for a lace look. Netting is very lacy, very open looking beadwork. Two, three, four, five. You always want to add it in the middle bead of each arch. So on the seven bead ones, you want to add it on the fourth bead and on the three bead arch, you want to add it on the second bead. Come on, get in there, jeez. Pop up, my school. That's gonna be nice in summer. <laughs> like the tub? Why specifically summer, though? Yeah, once I saw the package, I was confused. Yeah, I would be too. Like, what? Did you ask the person who put the package together? <laughs> like. We'll put the, I guess, basket? Door prize? That's the right word I'm looking for. No, I didn't realize it till hours after. Like, you could text them and be like, oh, uh, excuse you. That was seven beads, not five. <laughs> Depends on how well you know them, too, though. Like, I don't know. I'm very confused. Why does this exist? I just keep staring at it, being like, why? Just like, <laughs> why? Don't know the person that did the prizes at all. Oh, okay. Well, I guess. You've lost your chance then. Prince, that such a thing exists. They should have added complimentary. <laughs> no. Yo. <laughs> Aren't those called thongs? <laughs> Two, three, four, five. Do people even wear thongs anymore? I don't know. I never did. No thanks. Yuck. Um, no. Sorry, I am in the way. I'm looking at this guy. I don't know what I'm going to do. 
We. Mm. We're just we're just doing this round. I want to finish this, but I also want to go to bed before it's Tuesday. Is it Tuesday yet, guys? I haven't even looked at the clock. It is 11.06. What the heck? This has taken my entire day. Person that never even wears makeup unless I'm cosplaying. I see it getting a lot of views. <laughs> Not. It's 10 MVT. Gotcha. Like, I don't understand. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't wear makeup. Haven't in a while. Thinking about getting some just for fun. That's all I wear makeup for anyway, is for fun, if at all. Five, 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 five. How about five threes? Could I do five threes across the board? Would that make more sense? Or, better yet, no. Well, I don't know. I am tired. <laughs> My closet has become land of the lost and I'm afraid to look. Oh jeez. Uh, don't. If it's not in there, don't look. <laughs> What if, wait, uh, stop it. It's gonna take more effort to do, but it might look, might look cool if I did this. Rethreading problems today. Like I said, when you frog too much with Hannah, it it will tend to fray. So, oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. I think I'm getting sleepy. I think I probably need to end soon. Uh, elf. I mean, the last two years, it hasn't made sense to wear makeup because masks. But even before that, I only wore makeup to cosplay or for very special events. Exactly. Um, most of the makeup I've ever worn, actually, has just been eyeshadow. So, like, I don't do face makeup. Anything that would have been under a mask would have been lipstick. Like, that's, that's it. Like, uh, eyeshadow and lipstick, that's all I wear. If I wear anything ever, which is super rare. So three orange and two brown for this one. Ah. And then two brown and three orange going the opposite direction. Repeat. That'll work better with the heights of the different nets here. Okay. No. Nope. Orange. See? It's gonna be harder. My brain is tired. Uh, princess, true with any thread. Yeah. I just... I've just been using this one a lot today, so I'm tired of it. <laughs> Elf, my eyes are super sensitive, so if I go to the effort of doing eyes, I just do a whole face. Okay. Gotcha. Like, I, I'm the opposite. I just want to do eyes. I don't want to do a whole face if I'm going to do makeup. I don't even know how to do a whole face, honestly. Like, makeup was one of those things, like, 
my older sister cared about and that I did not. And then so, like, I never really learned to care about it. <laughs> it just kind of was. And so, like, a good chunk of, like, my first few makeup wearing years were because I had ex-boyfriends that were like, hey, look, you look pretty today. Yay. Dumb. I smell something sweet. We don't have anything sweet in the house. Like, is a candle burning somewhere? <laughs> you don't have a candle in this room. gonna try to make it the same all the way around but it might bunch up weird in places we'll see netting is hard around a funky shape prints I usually just go for eyeliner I could never stand full cake face unless I did the goth white oh geez dude like icing cake face that was like my high school Spanish teacher and her daughter both just like the first time anybody ever looked at them it was like can I just <laughs> like run a fingernail across your face and just leave it just just gouge out a whole layer of cake icing like it's so heavily applied both of them I think they had something they were covering up, like skin condition wise, you know, but I can't imagine that having that much makeup on is making whatever it is better every day forever. Like, no way. Prince, no, it was just powder to look pale. Can't do otherwise. Okay. But yeah, no, like, I have seen caked on makeup on real life people in person, and it's the most bizarre thing I've ever seen. It's like this poor teenage girl, you know? She and her mom both. Elf, my Spanish teacher was obsessed with Matt Damon and gave extra credit if you created a story in Spanish of her and Matt Damon being married. <laughs> okay. Did you do it? <laughs> I don't know, why not? why would you give up free points exactly like I went for every extra credit there was man why did it take me to like sophomore year of college to realize that grades don't matter <laughs> not in the least hey at least me it took me like partway through college instead of after college. I guess that's something. So I've got really, really crazy ruffles going on down here. I'm hoping the next row will even them out. We'll see. I might have wasted time, but we'll see. We'll see. Maybe it's not a waste. I bet I can fix it. I bet I can get it to lay flat. I think I can. Just do strategic decreasing should do the trick delicas are also very difficult to work with in netting so it's like they're not the best option ever prints because they tell you otherwise to keep you in line. 
Yeah. Don't I know it. Yeah, it's also part of why you get so screwed up later as an adult, though. Did everything right as a kid. Yeah, everything you did as a kid doesn't matter. Woo. Here's societal course path for you. Now follow it. Okay, now what? I don't know. We'll figure it out. The hell. <laughs> I'm not salty. Not in the least. My nose itch. Stop it. I have marathoned this piece and I still have not finished the pendant portion. Oh my gosh. And I've been working on this since about. I would say 12.30 or 1 p.m. my time, and it is like 11.16. <laughs> you know, a couple of stretch breaks, a couple of bathroom breaks, and dinner, but pretty much solid. So like... Yeah, that's awful. Prince, become in debt for the rest of your life with a degree that's not worth shit! I only did one of those things. I got the degree. I am not in debt. <laughs> I have the degree that's not worth shit. I am not in debt. So at least I went about it, you know, the financially intelligent way. But I would have had a better, better education if I'd been in debt. So, you know, I'll take this path. This one's fine. self-educate myself with a lot of the things that I want to know or get a certification I'm still iffy about the certification certification would actually give me job prospects but I've seen the kind of job prospects there are out there and it's like eh. Eh. some of them look okay others look eh. It's bad. Well, I have what I want, actually. I just want to do it somewhere else. That's the tough part. One, two, three, four, and five. <clears throat> Okay, figure out how to go around this corner. Oh, other way, other way, other way. Man, did I do any of the others backwards? No, okay, just that one. Good. Oh, my mom just hired a utility billing clerk that works the front desk for more than I made after I got my four-year degree. Experience required? None. Degree? Nope. Oh my gosh. Isn't that awful? It's just like found oil pins and did some mixing. Lime heart. She has heart now. Yay! Ugh. Yeah. Oh, that's so sad. That's so hard. And like, like all the urgently hiring food service places around here, you know, because that's what I've done the most in my life, is like, they're all hiring for more than I've ever made, ever. And it's like, oh. yet you couldn't pay me that a year ago. 
It's not like I graduated 20 years ago. I graduated in 2018. Oh my gosh. You did. You did. You were just in, you were just in school. Dang. I, I, I graduated, um, 11 years ago. <laughs> Ugh. Mm. So, I didn't graduate 20, but I graduated 11, and that hurts to say. Okay, so the middle bit on these guys is going to be this bit here. Try to scooch those together. Add something here, probably this. Go down here. Unless I need one bead in between? I might need one bead in between right there. Yep, because I had a whole career before I went to college. Yeah, I know. Uh, the army broke me and retired my airplane. No! Broke you? Do you have pains I don't know about? Class of 98, I just graduated to get out. Oh, no. Oh, 98. Oh. Oh, man. Well, no, that checks out, though. Yeah. Yeah, you're roughly my sister's age, though. Oh, they destroyed my knee and my lungs. Oh, I'm sorry. That, that's double whammy. I am so sorry. Can you at least get your knee replaced? Replacing the lungs, not so easy, obviously, but... At least the knee? Yay, this is going faster. Okay. Can I finish this before tomorrow? Tomorrow for me. It's a worthy goal. The second? A second bead. Second bead. Okay. Too young. Can you be too young for a knee replacement? Young thing. <laughs> I am a young thing. I'm sorry. I'm still a young thing. After all this time, I'm still a young thing. One day I'll be old. My rogue stripe already has like four gray hairs. So like we're get, we're, we doubled it in the last couple of years. I have two more gray hairs. <laughs> thing, they take care of the people that protect us. You think, yeah. I, did, I, I didn't know there was too young for knee replacements. That doesn't seem right. That doesn't seem fair. Do you at least get a nice pain prescription instead? They don't like doing knee replacements under the age of 50 unless it's completely shattered. Oh, okay, I guess I can see that, you know, because you still have like a long, a long time to to live and use it, you know, but. Pain prescriptions instead? Cause I know that shit hurts. Like, my mom ruined her knee when she was, 
She was in her 40s somewhere. Nope, naproxen or meloxicam. Gotcha. Yeah, my mom was in her 40s and didn't take care of her knee and, like, wish she had. And she didn't get it. Didn't get her knees replaced, both of them, um, until late 60s. Because the knee replacement is only good for so long, then they have to replace it again. Right. You know, but if it's, like, causing you pain forever, like, I don't see why you just couldn't get it replaced again. I don't know. Anyway. Hello, Oni Cat. Hello and welcome. <laughs> Talking about knee replacements. Quality of life. Exactly. Quality of life. Like, I'm sure if you ask my mom now if she would have two replacements on both her knees, she would probably say absolutely yes because, like, she was in so much pain for all those years when she didn't have them replaced yet. Uh, Oni Cat, I just got put on meloxicam for my back. Oh, no. What is happening with your back? I, I am familiar with back pain. I am 100% all the time in back pain. I hope it's not bad enough for, for that, though. I had repetitive motion injury food service pains. I do stretches daily and ibuprofen as needed. We're getting there. We got a little netting going on. Ouch, yeah. Back pain is awful. I feel you there. Sciatica's gonna be a bitch later on. The days where, like, that nerve f flares up. Well, the, yeah, where my sciatic nerve flares up. Mm. Mm mm. No fun. Thankfully, it's not often, but it's always out of the blue. I am not ready. And I am like immobilized for a day or two. Oni Cat, the job I'm currently in my last week of because they don't believe that. Checking out people's grocery groceries really does grind my spine, but I can talk. Wait. So you work in a grocery store, but checking hurts your spine and stalking does not. Probably, I can believe that though. Like, really, like standing in one place is hard. And like, it really depends on your body though, right? Like the motions your body can take because I can't pour milk to save my life not all day once but not a hundred times a day can't pour milk and I can't pump syrups like my body says no thank you Uh, Prince, my mom has degenerative back disease and a slip disc and yeah, her sciatic nerve. I have a narrowing L1, S5 disc that was pinching my sciatic nerve and I have um, thoracic spondylosis, spondylis, spondylosis, which is degenerative, one of my discs is degenerative up in my thoracic spine um, because of repetitive motion injuries. Elf, oddly enough, it's not like the knee... Not the knee that gets me. I developed asthma and allergies thanks to the burn pits. Oh, I'm so sorry. They say it's not a disability because it doesn't impact my ability to work my job. But it negatively impacts your life because of where you were and where you were stationed. Oni Cat, I can stock groceries because it isn't the exact angle that doesn't work with my exact scoliosis fix. See, exactly, it's your body that is affected by those specific movements. I'm sorry they don't believe you. That's the worst. Definitely don't be around people who don't believe you. And if it is your last week, I am grateful. I hope that whatever comes next is more is kinder to your body because food service is rough man it doesn't matter what 
what version of food service you work, they all suck. They're all hard. I've been there. I've done many of them. I haven't done all of them, but I've done many types. It sucks. And scoliosis is no joke. My spine is slightly S, but not, not severe. Always has been slightly S shaped. Uh, elf and the lift and twist as a cashier is super hard on the body as you can't lift it close to you. True, true. Because you don't want people that close to your groceries. Oh no. Prince, are you kidding? I have asthma and I can tell you to be right. I don't. I don't want any allergies to cause asthma either. That would suck. Elf, I work at a desk so they don't see it as affecting my ability to do my job. Oh my gosh. So dumb. <sighs> Breathing is hard. Dust. Ugh. Pearl. What? What did I do? I've taken measures against dust mites. That's all I can do. Until I know for sure. Oni Cat, they may believe me, but I am the only one that they want running the front at that store. It's more that they don't care. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the, the not caring is not worth your time. Like, there's, there's, there, everybody has a limit of being unvalued. And when you reach your limit, just go. There are other people who want the job more than you do. Or need the job more than you do. Maybe. It really depends. I don't know your financial situation. I'm not going to pretend I do. Prince, we will work just give us jobs we can do. <laughs> right. I... I just want to be treated like a human, please. Still waiting on that. Elf, yeah, like asthma affects my ability to work out, which affects my ability to maintain healthy weight. You'd think they would rather help me deal with the asthma to lose the weight rather than all the obese health issues later. You would think. Oh, I'm sorry, Elf. Because you can only do so much if you can't breathe. Prince, my tax R delay was saying, uh, oh, for your back. Oh. <laughs> Oops. Oni Cat, yep, I can do other things, possibly make less, and be much happier. I make much less than I was making in food service, and I am much happier, so I can definitely attest to that. Um, we'll see how long I can maintain it, how sustainable it can be. Done pretty good so far. Can't say I'm going to do great forever. Who knows? I don't, I don't know. You're back, Aaron Deacon Wife. Why am I still streaming? <laughs> Hubby decided not to stream tonight, so I get to hang out with you until I go to bed. Aw, that's so sweet. I am still alive somehow. I don't know how that happened. I'm not really going to question it. Oh, I don't know what color to do next. But I have this weird little lacy thing going on in the back now. I really should have put a chain on this a while ago. <laughs> anyway. This is where we're at. Hey, you. Okay. I bezeled the second bezel underneath in here. So it gave it like an under frame, kind of. I took the leaf off because it was obnoxious. Uh, there is the Albion bezel on the side here. I'm doing some netting to capture the back side of the pendant now. Just deciding on numbers. Elf, and my allergies are getting so bad that I randomly break out in hives. Oh no, are, are you sure they're not like stress hives though? So when I go for my physical next month, I'm going to ask my doctor to start the process for allergy testing. Oh yeah, definitely. Dude. Hey, don't question good things. Oh, you mean why I'm still streaming? Are you saying that's a good thing? <laughs> I gotta stream tomorrow too, so I don't wanna like overdo it. Uh, Prince, Elf, I feel like I was starting to lose weight again because they corrected my thyroid problem, then my asthma came back full force, and it exercise induced. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Prince, that's so sad. Okay, where do we go next, guys? What do we do next?
Oh, pretty sure. They usually accompany itchy eyes and sneezing. Okay, that's fair. I know they can stress hives, but also allergy hives. That sucks. The only person I've ever seen... Well, I've seen two people get hives. Like, my sister right before her wedding, but she was stressed out. And then, like, one of my classmates who knew she was allergic to strawberries, eating strawberries anyway, and she got hives. Um, <laughs> she did it to herself. Pony cat. Pain is nothing compared to not getting enough oxygen just from trying to exist. Oof, yeah. Can deal with pain. I'm not sure I could handle asthma. Same. Like, I can deal with back pain, but I don't ever want asthma. And I've had a couple of days recently where it's just been, oh no. <laughs> Please no. Because I've had, like, really bad allergies, and some of them can lead to asthma. Erity can wipe. Oh, heaven have mercy. Allergies suck. I have to avoid a whole range of foods, a bunch of cleaners, soaps, detergents, and other environmental things. I remember this conversation on your stream. It was a long list. My two allergy pills every day and carry a rescue inhaler. Oh my gosh. Elf. And if mom's dog licks me, it's instant hives. Oh. No. That's so sad. Woo. Uh-oh. Okay. I'm sorry that the asthma really sucks. That really does stink. Okay. What do I want to do here? I've, like, I already used all the colors, but I don't want to, like... Help! <laughs> what netting should I do next? Hmm. Use the same colors again in order. Yeah, I was thinking that. Prints, perfumes, deodorants, and cleaners can set me off. Gotcha. You know, I think I'm actually going to do blue and then start the same colors again in order. So three? I think I can get three across. I'm just gonna go across here. Yeah. This one's probably five. Unless, it flat, unless they lay flat enough that it fills in the space and then it's still three. We'll see. I'll try three first. I'll go back to five if not. I feel like three's fine though. Yeah. Three's fine. That might be the last row then. I don't know. We'll see. This works. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Oni Cat, is your mom's dog a pit bull? No. Uh, elves? I don't know, maybe. Uh, there are a lot of allergic to, spe to specifically bully breed saliva. I am, but I still love them. Okay, I didn't know that was a thing. But that makes sense. Parody King, that's what I would do. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Does she bathe them off an elf? I, yeah, I don't know. No, no, Rottweiler, and I've never reacted to any other Rotty. It's just this particular... That's weird. Okay, I'm going to do one. It's not the fur, it's the saliva. It doesn't matter whether it's just washed or later in the week. Okay. So you just got to be careful that the dog doesn't lick you. Otherwise, you can you can pet it to your heart's content. Is that is that is that right? Dog saliva is weird. <laughs> Seems so. I haven't had a dog in a long time. Like, I've pet other people's dogs, but I don't, like, haven't had a dog of my own. Well, of my own ever, you know, but, like, haven't really lived around dogs since I lived with my mom when we were... Did we have dogs when we moved out to the country, or was it just into town? I don't remember. I don't remember anymore. 
What do dogs do best? Little right for the face, says Prince. Yeah. Watch out, elf. I mean, dog saliva is always a little itchy, uh, but not like this dog, and correct. But she's a licker, so the minute you touch her, she starts licking out elf. I've never been around a Rottweiler personally, so I wouldn't even know. Alright, this is what I get for trying to learn a new technique, guys. I like, learn Albion Stitch. And not even, like, go straight for the basics. I just jump into something stupid difficult and then, like, modify it to something that I already had in progress. Like, this was a whip that I was already planning on finishing anyway. So, like, yay, working on a whip, but also boo for, like, making it a hundred times harder than it needed to be. Prince, thankfully, animals don't seem to bother me. That's good. Sorry, my lighting tonight is getting, is probably been bad for a while. This is why I like daytime beating. Colors are nicer for you guys. Daytime stream beating. Yeah, this will be the last row though. That'll look nice. There's a little bit of bump, bumping up in in some of this, but not too bad. Bunching, I guess, is the word I'm looking for. Bumping up in this. <laughs> I'm tired. Ugh. This can be five beats, though. Seems like a long distance. That can be one. Yeah, I'm glad I did this. Yay. It doesn't need anything else after this row. Oh, come on. Prince, I can let you on that pot kettle black. Me? Oh, yeah. Mm hmm. Says you with your little dolly over there. She done yet? She done yet? <laughs> Three, four, five. Oni Cat, this is the type of things I do with crochet. I just learned a new technique and ended up finding the most complicated pattern to do. Uh, yeah, I am. I started this. Uh, this bezel specifically because I was adapting a piece of Albion stitch to it. Oh, come on, you let me do five on that side. Okay, fine, I'm gonna do three on that side so I can do three on this side so it won't bunch up like that. <sighs> Here I thought I was in the home stretch. Jerk. Been calling this piece a jerk all day, not you guys. Um, <laughs> can't. <laughs> <It's> lazy. <laughs> Left on that with beadwork too. Ooh, no, shiny technique. Let's make it harder. Mosaic crochet. I am not even familiar enough with most crochet to like know what you mean. These guys might though. Pictures though are always cool and accepted. I can beat crochet and I hate every second of it and that's all the crochet that I do. I did once crochet a donut though. I made a, I made a donut plushie somewhere. Um, so that I could learn how to increase properly without beads, and um, that's all the crochet that I've done, literally. Purdy. Me, Purdy? Donut Purdy? I think you've seen the donut before. It's over there, and I'm not grabbing it because I am lazy and don't want to move from my chair. Hey, there we go. Now I just reinforce the holding thing. And I'm calling the pending good and that will be a good stream stopping point. Hello. 
Is it tomorrow yet? It's not tomorrow. I finished it today. Look at that, guys. Type emotes in chat for finishing it today. <laughs> Been doing crochet since I was 10. Oh, nice. I have never really been shown how to crochet. All the crochet I've attempted, I have been self-taught. It's tomorrow. Shh. It's today for me, Prince. Shh. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> We're going CST. CST is the only time zone. Since I started it in CST. <laughs> Welcome to the dark side, Pearl. Want a cookie? <laughs> I want a cookie. Yeah, there we go. Eric Deacon Wife, what are you working on tonight? What giant piece do you have in progress? Or small piece? What is small for you? I'm curious. There we go. Holy potatoes! <laughs> I don't know whose emotes those are, but I love them. <laughs> I am full of hope and potatoes today. <laughs> Actually, all my pieces are finished. What? That's not real? You're a beater, come on. I know better. There's a box of, of half-finished components somewhere. I know it. Prince, yeah, I shouldn't have said that because I want a cookie now. Oreos, double stuffed. I don't have those, but I do have like strawberry wafers if you guys are interested. I've been, I've been having them with my lemon flavored tea. They've been delicious. Already can watch. I'll be starting a new one this week and just not sure what piece I will start yet. Man, I can't imagine making big ones like you do, as fast as you do. At least they seem fast to me. How? If you craft, there must be whips. <laughs> this is not always true for everybody, um, but what everybody classifies as a whip is different. And I've changed the definition of my whips several times in the last year, even. I actually exclamation point whip in chat to see how many I have in progress. It may or may not be accurate, but it'll give you an estimate. Uh, yes, I do have a box for when the inspiration strikes. See, like inspiration box. For you is an inspiration box, but for me it could be like, oh no, there's 12 things in there that like I abandoned halfway through, you know. But doesn't necessarily count as a whip for some people, you know. It's, it's all up subjective and all up to the different artists. Projects half done, who knows? I have 20 years experience, it builds speed. I have, I have 20 years experience, I have plenty speed, I just start new things. Not, not as bad anymore, but I have. <laughs> just look at me being shy and quiet and, and turned in and over here. <laughs> Prince sitting in the closet for two years whips over here. <laughs> yep. Uh. Already can my wife. My whips, if you call them that, are stones glued down to backing with no beading done to them. Fair. Some people would. So technically, this was before I started doing any beadwork today. Hey, you. Calm down. Um, was just the cabochon and the doodle. So technically, I still called it a whip because I planned to make it. But I technically, I guess, hadn't really started other than cutting the thing out to match the size of the cab. Goodness, this thing is huge. So... Sounds like to you it wouldn't count as one, but to me it would. Okay. Um, let's... 
maybe try a different direction. Those green beads are pretty full of thread. Uh, technically, I've been beading since I was nine, but bead embroidery only for the past 20. Nice. Count the technicality. It's cool. It's a long time. I've been beading since I was 13, so I have been beading for 20 years this summer. July, I think. Uh, Oni Cat, I have whips and several crafts in the closet. Yes. What kind of crafts do you do? And do you want to join us in the Discord too? We have one of those. Discord. Quirk, so he's probably asleep, and if anybody's been joining the Discord, he hasn't been there to greet them. Like, he just makes a point of doing that, but like, I don't stream at night often, so. I'd call those blank canvas for you. Blank canvas. Okay, that's fair. I call them components yet to be used. Yeah, Prince, you're right. I will be 46 next month. All right. So that would be 35 years beating experience. Hooray! Got me beat a whole decade and a half. Awesome. That's like a lifelong beating passion. You may have stopped for a few years. Some people do, but like, whatever. I'm a jack of most trades, master of none. <laughs> Money cat, crochet, cross stitch, latch hook. Ooh, diamond pin. It just depends on what my brain likes at the time. I just follow the ADHD where it wants to go. Fair enough. Enjoy the crafts as you feel obliged to take them on. No guilt from me. I do beadwork. Beadwork, beadwork, and beadwork. And beadwork. <laughs> um, I will do most forms of jewelry and put beads in them at some point. Uh, if I do other things, other crafts, I will still attempt to, to put beads in them at some point. I did a cross stitch kaleidocycle and I beaded it, of course. I use this during my therapy sessions, just to, just to, just to play with. <laughs> Prince, the gallery pieces blow my mind. Yes. Dude, Eric Dakin Life has some really great gallery pieces. Really nice, big, big, big pieces. That, that, that they wear. Like, uh, the crafts take you where they will. Oh yeah, I started learning how to do peyote. Oh yes, beading too, woohoo. Yes. Okay. Working thread is cut off. Let me put it away. I don't know why it took me so many years to like start wrapping my unused lengths of thread over like thread cards, floss cards. I don't know why, but it took forever. Peyote stitch rocks. <laughs> yes. Peyote is the king of stitches. Thank you for the biddies. Appreciate that. Oh my gosh. You've been so generous today. Like, why? What did I do? I did nothing. There was nothing special going on. Beware, Oni Cat. Soon you'll be figuring out how to include beads in everything. Ugh. Peyote is king of stitches. If there's only one beading stitch you need to know, it is peyote stitch. However, loom work is my favorite. Have I shown enough of the loom work off tonight? Like, like this is this is my illusion blocks bracelet. Oh come on, it's not even finished. But I haven't made one in a while, so my illusion blocks. And I got my my ladybug set. My little bugs that are partway finished, all full of threads. Little bugs, little bug pattern, little bug colored gradient, and then all the other things, all the other tiny baby geometric sellable stuff. Little bugs, and then one one little tiny bead loom row wide dude as well. Oni cat. I do cross stitch, but I am not sure beyond that. Okay. Oh, you doing your cross stitch. The beads. Gotcha, gotcha. 
Ready to what? Tomorrow night's stream for me will be a bead sorting packing stream, prepping for our move to Canada. How fancy. Oh, it means you won't be able to get them out for a while. Oh no, those are awesome, thank you. Um, I made all of these last week, uh, as well as this one and one other bracelet that actually uh, got sold. That was the commission. So I have to finish these up this week. I have to start a new salad themed set this week. I might design those on stream tomorrow. We'll see how far I get tomorrow morning. Um, I'm going to do ranch bottles and I want to do carrots and tomatoes and then just colors of all those things. And then some more geometrics that I didn't get around to in this set. Um, and maybe some arcade stuff or butterfly stuff. Probably the arcade stuff. That's a smarter bet. Just so I can have some nerdy things. And then I'll do butterfly stuff with what's the weekend after salad spring so spring festival I'll do butterflies so the weekend of the week of the art walk I'll make butterflies and bumblebees and then Earth Day the week after that the week after that yeah this is the busy season the gradient is awesome. Yes, it is one of my better selling patterns for sure. This is one of my best selling patterns. And this is one of my best selling patterns. My other good sellers, I, I haven't made extras of yet, but these are some of my, two of my best sellings. Doesn't matter what colors they're in, they always sell. Always, always. Ready? I have a huge loom my father-in-law made me for bead looming. I have about an 8 inch weaving width on it so I can do small tapestries if I wanted. I bought myself a wire loom. Um, this is the this is the big dude. Um, yeah, so it's not huge, but in comparison to my regular one, it is definitely big. It's twice as wide, so I can get two and a half times as wide. Not quite three, I was hoping for three. It's two and a half times as wide, so I can get about 12 to 16 small bracelets at a time. 710 Alchemist, thank you for the follow. Thanks for beating my friend. Welcome to the beatbox. I'm Vanishing Pearl. I do loom work and other stuff. <laughs> I mostly do loom work um, this time of year because it is inventory season oni cat thank you for the follow thanks for beating my friend welcome to the beatbox beads 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 someone say beads beads <laughs> nice yeah so i'm really happy with the big wire loom i don't need anything fancy the wire loom works just great for me it is the perfect size for bracelets i pretty much only make bracelets Sometimes I make fancy bracelets, but I still pretty much only make bracelets. Just trying to weave in this thread. It's already tied off. So I don't make big tapestries. That being said, like I still want to bead a giant magic eye poster. Like I really want to bead a magic eye poster. I think that would be so fun. But this loom is not big enough for that and i don't want to buy a loom just for that so i'm thinking panels several panels but i also don't want to like occupy my inventory loom during the middle of inventory season like it's not fair <laughs> or small purses i don't want to make a purse i will make a bead crochet purse so that i can learn how to increase properly i will make a coin purse and i will do it flat a big crochet. Whew. Okay. I did the things. Is it tomorrow yet? Hey, it is barely not tomorrow. It's 11.59. We finished the thing. My time zone. C CST. So, I finished this today. <laughs> it did not go into tomorrow, guys. Hooray. You just saw me cut the last thread. That, that being said, the whole necklace is not finished. I actually uh, don't have ideas on how to complete that yet, but there we go. We did it. We have a double peyote front bezel. 
that dark layer you see is a separate layer of peyote stitch underneath the current layer on top there uh, we did started off with albion stitch around the side not my favorite way to start a bezel but it's definitely decorative um, and then we did some netting on the back so yeah now the bail uh, what even would I do for a bale here? Let's zoom in so you guys can see it real close. What would I do for a bale for this? Like, ideas? Um, you just remember to hit the follow button. Thank you, thank you. Uh, Oni Cat. I learned how to do the peyote stitch so I can do tapestries. Oh, that's, that's fun. Yeah? And you wouldn't have to, like, tie in threads or deal with threads. But loom work would be so much faster. So much faster. They have different textures, so. <laughs> Bale. Prince. You're gonna kill me. Oh, yeah. Everything I learn ends up being go big or go home. I do huge cross-stitch full coverage projects, giant blankets, and bean tapestries. You know? There are just a lot of people like that. Night, night. <laughs> Queen Hub Slice, why am I still awake? Why do, why do you have to remind me to be asleep? <laughs> I love you. Have a good night, friend. I miss you. Think of it tomorrow. Oh yeah, no, today is is a lost cause. Today is gone. It dip, where'd it go? You know, it's the best kind of Monday though. <laughs> yeah, honey cat. I can follow patterns, but I don't know how to do color stuff, and I don't know what really looks good usually. Just go with what you like. You're the one making it, and you're the one that has to look at it. Go with what you like. That is the best advice I have for color, for color picking for most people, you know, and then beyond that, you know, basic color theory. Pride ascending, thanks for the lurk. I must go clean the garage. Happy beating, Pearl. Hi, Pride, how are you? <laughs> Enjoy the lurk, but I might not be here when you get back. I might be raiding soon. But yeah. Love you, too. Ooh, it is yawn time of night. Oh my gosh. See, this section still ended up being a little more receded than the others. I don't know why. The same thing. I don't know, something must be wonky in here. But I'm very happy with this otherwise, you know. Definitely didn't know how this was going to turn out in the end. But we got it symmetrical. We got our little raised bump areas symmetrical. Super duos symmetrical around the edge here. This turned out fine. This this bit bunched up. This bit bunched up. But for the most part it didn't do too bad back here. Like I don't know if there's a way I can like maneuver that to where it doesn't do that. I don't think there's a way. Ah, maybe so. Maybe you can do that with this one too. Just scooch the beads around. Yeah. Sometimes you get some leeway with that, with beads. Okay. There we go. That's better. They were just kind of tightly hugging the beads in weird places. Same right here. There we go. So we've got some funky netting on the back. But I got a clean line in the middle, and that's always what you want to aim for when you're bezeling is a clean line in the middle. That way you know that you have correctly encapsulated the piece. Color wheels might help. True. Um, but usually it's just practice using what you like, using what you think looks good together, using inspiration from other things will loosen over time, I'm sure. I don't know. It'll be fine. I, can't, I need color wheels. I really didn't pay much attention to art class as a child because my spatial ability with drawing sucks. Aw, this looks really good. Thank you. Um, 
I can't illustrate very well, but I have good spatial awareness. I have great spatial awareness. Like, that's the only thing I can perceive when I close my mind is spatial awareness and, like, movement. I get no imagery, though. None. Nothing. Not a... Aphantasia sucks, guys. Um, so, yeah, I don't know what a piece looks like until it's done. So... When, when I design, it's like, I'll know it when I see it. That's a really crummy way to be a designer. <laughs> I use grids for everything. Ah, that's a good way to do it. But yeah, we, we did the thing. Here is my first one that I did for comparison so you guys can see how freaking overboard I went. Look at this. Look at this. Yeah, get out. Get out of the way. So this one, just plain simple peyote stitch bezel. <laughs> Actually, it was a right angle weave starts with peyote on the sides. This is my go-to is I do right angle weave starts because you can capture the whole thing properly size-wise and then I do peyote stitch off the edges. So nice. Thank you, Prince. Colorful. Um, so not just a smidge actually tightened it up on here so it's not as annoying as it was but yeah so this was peyote stitch and right angle weave the white was the center point of the right angle weave and the rest was peyote but like rectangles and like triangles are super easy to decrease properly with peyote stitch the teardrop was very hard the teardrop was not easy guys for decreasing. Mm -mm. Um, and then we had the fancy edge, which made everything way thicker than it needed to be, which means, you know, we could have had extra layers in there and stuff, but, ugh. Um, but I added the extra layer underneath here, which was super hard. And decreasing that was hard. <laughs> like, ugh. The styles you picked for each piece work well for each doodle. Thanks. Thanks. I can't wait to see this one in daylight, like proper daylight. Like I have daylight bulbs, which are great for working with at night, but they're still not quite as precise as the sun. <laughs> the sun is good. We need the sun. Um, but thank you, Oni Cat. Um, I've used this color palette before. I didn't have so much the darks in it, um, but I had the green and the aqua and the and the sky blue before which is nice I actually used peach and purple in that too so I guess the orange was more peach at that point but yeah I've loved variations of this color palette before it's super bright and summery but yeah Ixo did both these doodles these are both hand drawn by him and I did the bezeling yeah I'm glad I stopped where I did here <laughs> It's, it's, it's overboard, but it's a good kind of overboard. Um, and the button covered up the hole on this one, and then I ended up having so much beadwork that the hole was covered up on this one. So, it's really cool. Thank you. And then here's the backs. Um, and this back is more reminiscent of this piece here. Here's the back of this piece. I'll show you the front in a sec. Yay! That one's a finished piece as well. So, similar. Not the same. Not the same numbers of netting, but netting in general was what I was aiming for. This was the front. This is a little doodle I made. It's under a piece of clear plexiglass. I'm going to do the same with this piece at some point. Find a ring that's r the same size proportionally for this guy. Or smaller, actually needs to be smaller so it goes over um and put something really small in the middle don't know what yet but do something similar to this that'd be super cute um dang i don't need more new ideas i just got partly done with the whip <laughs> yeah i'm happy with it 
Finally. Like, took forever. Your backsides always look so good. <laughs> That's the point, Prince. You want the back to look just as pretty as the front. Like a real human. Maybe that's why we need the butt mask, guys. Sorry, bringing up Elf's gift from the baby shop. <laughs> uh, the backs need to look just as pretty as the front. <laughs> it's relevant to the conversation. Uh, Oni Cat, I love it. I love seeing how people's brains work for different creative things. Oh, jeez. Would you have liked to see me before stream? Like, I fed this to the Reginald several times. And for those who don't know who Reginald is, he is my Stark. He has a name. He also has an emote. Oh, I didn't, I haven't put the Regina emote in yet. Guys, what is wrong with me? Tell me to get on my emote game. I've been lame. I need to put Regina in. I need to put in the Halloween button. We have our Halloween button. Spooky emote. Um, I need to put in... Ah, oh, what else? I need to do a Snidely Whiplash emote. <laughs> Whiplash. Um, yeah. 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 <laughs> so many tabs open. Oh my gosh. So many tabs. Ziggy, I guess you're gonna have to wait till tomorrow. Sorry, dude. Okay, uh, Reginald got a lot of fiber today. Yesterday, mostly, but today, yes, he got a lot of fiber. He had a good dinner, and he had a great breakfast, and he had a lunch, too. So, like, he had all of it. <laughs> He shared with the other Reginald as well, so like, don't worry. And Regina. I never thought to name my scissors. Also, Snidely is amazing. <laughs> yeah, S spelled spelled like this. Spelled like this. That's how I've been writing it down. It's been on my list for months to make an emote for that. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. If you couldn't tell, I love puns. <laughs> puns? Oh, yeah, I'm yawning too much. Who's alive? Probably nobody we know. Uh, yeah, also, is the Halloween button just an old button that got a creepy face? No, like, this is legitimately how the button was. Halloween button is as is. And if, if you're in the Discord, we have the emote in the Discord, um, but I don't have it here. So I need to like upload for follow e follower emotes or bid emotes or something, all the different colors of the kazoos. I need to do Regina, which is the rainbow, Reginald, uh, the scissors. Um, I have her down there somewhere. I dropped something. Uh, I need to do the button here for follower emotes or something. I don't know, we'll see. Stuff. Things I need to upgrade my channel. Spooky, <laughs> yeah. Uh, Ixo is uh, my my partner. He was doing a uh, D stash of my beads um, last year. We do that around September, October, every couple years. Um, and it was right before Halloween, and so like everybody was like, "What the heck is the face on that guy?" <laughs> And so it lives on my desk now. Every time something is spooky happens on stream. <laughs> spooky. But I don't have the emote for you guys to spam, so I'm terrible at things. <laughs> anyway. That was that was in the buttons I was de-stashing, but like he, he saw it and like chat saw it and I'm like, oh man, there is a face there. And so it became a whole thing. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> it's great. Ugh. I need sleep. Okay. Got, got to do the thing. The thing called reading people. Who's live even? <laughs> mm. 
Hmm. Got a few people. Oh, oh goodness. Let's see if there's any beaters at, at midnight. I doubt it. And if there are, I, they probably don't speak English, but that's okay, right? Got any more late night beaters? The answer is no. I already know this. Why do I ask? Just in case. Yeah, of course, the answer is no. But that's okay. Totally, totally okay. Ah. I've raided out at 1 a.m. and found beaters. You know, I have raided out at like 11 or 12, and then the person I raided raided a beater. That happened once, but I was way too tired to say hi. How did you find a beater at 1 a.m.? Who was it? Are they live? They're not in makers and crafting if they're live. But that doesn't mean anything. Ugh. Okay. Okay. Pick. I haven't seen this person in a while. I'm gonna get through the ads, see what she's making. But yeah, guys, this, this was our thing today. We did it. I achieved it very barely before midnight, but I achieved it, and I'm gonna go to bed now. I'll see you at 2 p.m. tomorrow. Fancy. What the happen? I never intend to stream very long on like Monday nights and then they just go for as long as normal streams anyway. <laughs> He's still here for like four hours or more. Five? Oh my, oh my gosh. I searched. It was Black Split. She went to bed not long after. Okay, okay, okay. I thought we were like talking somebody and knew that I had never met before. But yeah, I can see her being up at one. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, so we are going to actually go over to MChav today. She is a lace tatting maker here on Twitch. I haven't had the chance or the opportunity to raid her in a while. Um, I'll say hi for a little bit. I need to go to bed, but you guys are welcome to hang out. Yeah, if you haven't seen tatted lace, MChav's your, MChav's your gal. So, let me get that started. And I will bid you later, friends. Thanks for coming in. If you haven't already, make sure to join the Discord if you want to see more of me and my shenanigans. And I will be back at 2 p.m. Central Standard Time tomorrow. Today. 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 For me. Tomorrow. For some of you. Um, but... I'll beat you later, and I'll see you then. Ooh, I know what tatted lace is. I'm so sorry. Yes, yes. MChap is great. Beat you later. He set a goal, and that's what he did. He did his goal. He was determined. Everybody.